Well, I mean, Woody knows this, but as Woody and William sat with me in the courtroom, that gentleman that had me roped up that started this whole business came in behind me and he said, whispered in my ear that an elephant never forgets. Right in the middle of the fucking courtroom. Uh, I, ju I just got up and I yelled uh, as loud as I could to the judge that I was being threatened in their courtroom and could they please do something about it. Valdez came down and roped him and took him out. He came back in again and Valdez roped him up again and took him out again. They waited outside the courthouse. They were waiting when we left. Uh, Gemma was uh, charged with the assault, but it, she was released for time served because she had served well over the amount of time required for her sentence. And uh, when we walked out on the street outside, uh, he was waiting outside, the gentleman. And along with him was Joseph, who made a point to walk up and tell me that he was brothers with the man who had roped and caused this whole thing. And I said, what do you mean brothers? You didn't have a brother. He said, I'm brothers in arms. I said, oh, you are. I said, what difference does that make to me? Nothing. I just thought I'd let you know. I said, I don't care. So if you're brothers in arms with him, you have no business to be in a Valentine around me. And uh, I guess that's that. And I turned and walked away. So uh, you need to keep an eye on him if he shows up in town. Uh, be skeptical. Uh, because there's been several instances where uh, it feels like we might be easily target targeted for revenge. So... Uh, yeah, just keep your eyes peeled. So, I mean, all's well that ends well, I guess. After the trial was over, they informed me that uh, due to mitigating circumstances, the fact that he had walked in and threatened us in the courtroom and the, show, the, the display of his character, all charges against me were dropped. Any further court dealings or court actions that were waiting for me in the future are now gone. Uh, there's, there's no more. It's over. You couldn't even be an idiot long enough to fucking get his case across. Get his what? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. But it's actually, I'm actually kind of grateful that he showed that side of himself because it, it proved our point, you know. So, uh, but the fact remains that after all of this, I feel like that no matter what I do, I, uh, Valentine is not savable. My ideas of this beautiful place where people are loving each other and taking care of each other and looking after each other is a joke. I can't do it. It's obvious I can't do it. And the more you try to do it, the more people come in and, and try to disrupt it. It's like a game, you know. And I feel like every time I try to keep myself from going down a darker path I am being pulled in a direction where I feel like I don't have any choice but to fight fire with fire and go down that darker path and that's not the person I want to be and uh, I regret everything right now about taking this position because I don't think I'm going to be able to save that place you don't want to be saved Yeah, I can go down the and kick it is, Mary, Yeah, what? You can't do it on your own. You're not the one who's going to be saving Valentine. It's everyone. Everyone who believes in it. And I kept thinking I could gather those people. I know I can't do it myself, but I kept thinking that I could gather the right people to do it. And all of a sudden, I looked around me yesterday, and Miles and Kate and I ain't seen them. Uh, Wea has been scarce uh, scarcer and scarcer by the day Sarah the lot of them everybody I came here with and had kind of had my, my hopes and dreams in is just slowly fading into the background and I'm left with Are you sure I don't know I don't know it feels that way because I remember when you were awake a bit more than everyone else it felt like that but it wasn't true you could be right. You could be right. Um, I, I hope they're all still there, and I hope it's just the storm coming that's keeping everybody from being around, but 
I just feel like I look around me on a daily basis and all I see is a bunch of strangers and people doing dumb shit in town and I can't do a goddamn thing about it. Soon enough, we'll be able to go back to Shady Bell. Well, then the Moin Raiders are dead, so... Yeah. We'll actually have a place, a congregation home. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to that. Thinking of making meat pies for when we get there. <laughs> gonna be a bob or two? <laughs> a what? A barber? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I think people are still around. It's just... You're around a lot more than a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. William, Anna, Buck, Two Feathers, Leia, Frederick got right. uh, sent over to St. Denis for his own safety after all this shit. Mm. Uh, that weird fellow that I think he's still at Shady Bell. Drop off food there, so. Skip? The one I haven't met yet? Yeah, I think that's just, that's what they call him. Yeah, Buck been telling me about him. I ain't met him yet. Me neither. But for the time being, I just, uh, I, I just, you need to be careful. Uh, all of us who were there at the court, uh, Woody, uh, Andy, you probably just by nature, the, your connections to me. I don't know how many people here actually know those connections, but you know Not Joseph. as many. Yes, I do, but... Well, at least you know what to look out for. Um, if he would stoop so low as to do that, I'd, I don't know. He might as well be a criminal. Yeah, well... I don't uh, know I, if he's really that kind of person. I think I can pretty much confirm that he is. Why? Yeah, well, just some other things I'll tell you about later. Mm -hmm. But, well. uh... I think you've seen out of everyone, Mamie, I think I can defend for myself. Seeing as I've never been kidnapped. Yeah, I, I know you can. and um, I just need to be super careful because, you know me, I just want to walk around all by myself and I'm oblivious to everything going on around me. I can't be oblivious anymore. The two times that I tried to be kidnapped, the first time ended up with six bullets in his chest. The other time, he didn't pull fast enough, and I pointed a gun at his head. Yeah. Yeah, well. How I is the I other hadn't. things going with the point? The, the, the devil thing? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I went back up to the mountain by myself and sat by the rocks, and it started talking to me. And it says that I need to find this Mr. Bones. And that I need to talk to him because he has the answers. So I reached out to Marley, who seems to know where Mr. Bones is. And she's supposed to be getting back to me about when I can meet up with him. I just wish there was somewhere where it uh, would describe, uh, you know... I have a recognizable pattern and doesn't seem like a demon's just random every time and comes back for no reason. You get me? Yeah. Well, it showed up when I was sitting in the, you know, I, I make my office and behind the bank there and I was sitting there with Gemma and lamps st started flying and chairs flying and that sort of thing. And then some strange language uh, was being spoken, words that we didn't understand. Just what no, do you know about you, me, and Buck? Uh, I'm not sure. Did we tell you about the crossroads, Woody? I was there with you. Uh, well, yes, I knew he was there. I meant the recent stuff. The recent stuff. Like, wh how recent, though? There's been so much that's happened. I, I don't know. Just... You know, the one thing that we found. We all have marks on our back. 
Know what I mean? And it was. Yeah. Well, how do you know? Because I look, I okay. wash. Well, well, it's hard to see back there sometimes. You know, I wash too. You do realize that I have to shave my back, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I did wow. not uh, venture to know that. Uh... Well, scar tissue doesn't really help, so... Ah, okay, well... Alright then, I was not aware that you did that. Why do you do that? That seems rather difficult. I literally just told you. It complicates with the scar tissue. I mean, your back's how like how do you do that? A mirror, Andy. I know, but you gotta be real flexible for that. <laughs> oh, Lord. So you have looked then, Woody? Yes. Alright. Also, chemical hair remover, Andy. Oh. Mm. I don't know if I'd want to be messing with that. <laughs> Yeah, holy shit. I'm afraid I'd... Although I suppose with out. someone like Frederick in your life, I suppose that makes it a bit easier. But... <laughs> he doesn't really have any hair. Well, no, not it's now. It's never I... grown facial hair. I'm honestly not even sure this creature is related. And maybe it just, like, triggered something. I, I don't know. I, until we find yeah, this bone filler. the feeling that I'm be getting, a... because... The things that the, the the one that's really shown itself in some way does not seem the same as what we saw at the crossroads. Honestly, when we saw it in the mayor's office yesterday, it was uh, somewhat more subdued. It seemed like less aggressive in its behavior, more wanting to make its presence known by opening and closing doors and swinging lamps, that sort of thing. Well, that could and also then, be something entirely different. Perhaps it's just attracting things. Yeah, that's also a good point. I guess, you know, hopefully when we find this Bones feller, we'll find the answers to all that. Something's attracting things. Yeah, definitely. No. Who knows? Yeah, but uh, it's been relatively quiet otherwise uh, in terms of that. I mean, there's been moments, but... I'm just waiting to find this Mr. Bones. There's not much more I can do about it. I feel like I've done everything I can do. Yeah, well. I'd still be watching out for unusual behavior in all of us. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Like going mad and shooting. 30 people in the middle of town. <laughs> yeah, that, uh... That would be unusual. <laughs> or was it 40? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. But if I hadn't been for Woody and William last night, I think I'd have fucking lost my head. Still can't believe they lied to me when they took her away. Still mad at Valdez for that. I don't know. Don't have much to say to the man right now, honestly. What do you think they would have had to deal with if they had just told you? Yeah, I mean, I know. I suppose. That's part of law, too, is being able to navigate those situations with the least amount of, you know, violent behavior as possible. Yeah, I just felt like they could have let me know somehow, so I didn't sit there and worry, you know, for two hours. But, uh, uh, they got their ways. If you had known, you don't think you would have rushed off to wherever she was? Of course I would have. And they probably know that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Always, you're always right. No, I just know how it can be sometimes. Yeah. I just hate all this division in the law enforcement right now. You know, this jurisdiction and that jurisdiction. I think it just breeds a, 
comp- competitiveness between the departments that makes them seem like more like gangs to each other than actual law enforcement officers, and it bothers me a little bit. Yeah. It bothers me, too. But I guess they'll have to stumble their way through this and figure it out themselves. Could remind them, possibly. Just have the idea that it's all right to cooperate. Yeah. Without all this jurisdictions and and things and be able to help each other without being screamed at for being not the jurisdiction. It's just petty. Yeah. And it's not helpful. And that's a problem. They don't want that. They don't want other jurisdictions messing around in other jurisdictions because primarily of things like what happened in Valentine, where I ended up getting hogtied by a man who said he was a deputy. From another city, you know. So, idiots like that. Make, make it, it hard. hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> trying to, you know, but I'm still standing my ground. I still believe that there should be a solidarity between law enforcement. There should be. And the problem is, is the screening process for law enforcement probably needs to be taken into account. And anybody not meeting a certain standard of behavior should not hold a badge. Yeah. I suppose it'll come eventually. God. I am still just feel like I got my shit kicked in today. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. I want to well, be here. I will let you decide then, Mamie, about what I've been thinking about. What have you been thinking about? The way I asked if I would be a deputy if I wasn't going to be sheriff or anything. And uh, it's between that and owning that small saloon and, uh, you know, maybe bounty hunting on the side. Where would you you, rather have me? I want you to do what makes you happy. That's where I'd rather have you because I know that where you're happy is where you're going to flourish. I know that people like you. I know that you like to sing and entertain and... I find that part of you to be one of your most endearing qualities. But I also like the solid rock of a person that you are for law, too. So that's a tough one. But I want you where you're happy. And that that's, that's what's most important to me. And I think that you would thrive more in being that person who welcomed people and just enjoyed your life. But uh, that's up to you. I want you to be happy. That's that's the most important thing to me. Woody, you any opinions? Have... You say something? <laughs> no, really, did you say something? Yeah, I did. Okay, what was it? Uh, I was asking Mamie. Um, because I've been thinking about some things and Waya asked me to be a deputy uh, a few days ago and I said I'd think about it but I'm also thinking of owning the small uh, small saloon in Valentine and um, just bounty on on the side perhaps and I wasn't sure which I was going to really go for asking your opinion I, I somehow blinked out again I'm I don't know what's going on. no I'm I actually don't know what's going on uh, can you repeat that and I'll try and pay more attention I'm sorry deputy you or saloon <laughs> can you repeat that because Mamie interrupted you deputy or saloon what makes you happy why does everyone else have to ask me that question? It's hard because I know how much good I could probably do in a deputy position because of my experience and because of my knowledge and everything, but 
I don't know. Like, I want to do good. But, I, I don't know. You could, well, I mean, as a saloon owner, you can actually do a, quite a bit, even while still doing good. I mean, a lot of shit goes down in bars, so you'd have the right to protect your patrons. And you can deny people access, meaning that it could be a safe haven for people. Yes, but I also know that they need good law right now. It's a fine line. Yeah. So what was the conclusion? <sighs> she hasn't decided. Well, there ain't no, ain't no rush to decide, Andy. The most important thing to me, like I said, is that you're happy. Because I believe if you're happy with what you're doing, that's where you're going to have the most impact. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Woody. Did that taste good? I haven't eaten anything today. <laughs> oh, shit. Well. Well, I kind of have, but uh, just process snacks. Which kind of makes me sad, but I'm making dinner for Frederick tonight, so... Uh. <laughs> How is Frederick? I haven't seen him in a good long while. Has he been staying safe? Yeah. Uh, the kid's kind of sad. Uh, ain't seen nobody in all of Lemoyne Raiders. He's probably thinking some of you are dead, but I should probably tell him that's not the case. If anything, is the other way around. Has he had any luck with his um, condition at all? You guys won't tell me what it is, so I wouldn't know. Alright, well, maybe just let him know we'd like to talk sometime. Just catch up, see how he's doing. Sure, probably even be around today. I'd be interested to hear what he had to say about this thing, for sure. About what thing? The demons, the cultists, all that. Don't know and what the kid is into. Ah, well, isn't he an arcanist? Something? Archivist. archivist. Sorry, my archivist, bad. That's yeah. a different. That's a different thing. <laughs> archivist. Sure is. <laughs> <laughs> that is not even. What did you? What was the first? You said archaeologist or something? Arcanist, which is something. An arcanist. It's 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 <laughs> it's a fantasy. It's it's nothing. <laughs> It does read a lot of fantasy books, but I don't know nothing about that. No, it's, <laughs> it's nothing. It's just, you know, books about magic. Hey, there's a train. Why do both of you like trains and yet somehow all of you hate automobiles? You're not gonna catch the train. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're fucking kidding.
Coming up on you there, Percy. Oh, right now. It's the tracks, they do that. They're not fond of them. All right, here we go. Hard to think we ain't gonna catch this damn train. Oh, here we got it. Come on, come on, come on, Earl, come on. All right, here we go. Gotta get. Hey, okay, well, fuck. Oh, that's no fun. Oh, that was boring. All right, gotta wait for it to get moving. Oh, yeah, again. I gotta wait for it to get yes. moving again. Oh, we caught it, didn't we? It's technically. Yeah, technically, you fucking technically. pulled the lasso around its neck and slid its throat, definitely. Alright, get ready, boy. Okay, alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give it a little head start here. Otherwise, ain't no fun. You are fucking mental. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, where are you going there? What are you. Ow, ow. <laughs> Woody, where are you? <laughs> I made it. I made it. I'm trying. Come on. I'm trying. Where's Woody? Is he back oh, there? Somewhere behind me. Somewhere. Oh, I see him back there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll catch it. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm on. I'm up here, baby. Can All you right. jump back to your horse? I think so. Hold on. Let's try, huh? Oh, oh! oh. <laughs> Mamie! Ow. <laughs> Come on. Andy, over here. Or not. Ow. Oh, did it stop again? God. You gotta get it on, get on the good way. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Let's get ahead of it a little bit. Sing as. Hang on, I got no time for bandaging. Oh no, it's another stop again, isn't it? Well, we just are too oh, good. Now we're gonna have to wait again. Wait, let's just get ahead of it a little bit. Yep, okay, alright. 
so you got to get out the train. <laughs> Don't fuck with the conductor. I'm not gonna fuck with the conductor. <laughs> I'm just gonna get on the coal cart. Here we go. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Look out, Percy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> nice jump. Congratulations. What? <laughs> and what do you see waiting for us? Because <laughs> now, guess what? We're going to have to ride to the next town and get our horses out. No, no, Percy, Percy's following. Yeah, so is Not Sharice. Yeah, no, Sharice is long gone. Earl. 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 Yeah, not fucking Morris. It's Earl, I know. Fucking Morris. Fucking Morris. Yeah, Percy's following. Follow. Percy's following, that's mine. Oh, uh, Morris is not. Well. I mean, not Morris, Earl. God damn it. <laughs> Hmm. What just happened? I don't know. You disappeared for a second. What do you mean? What happened? Well, there I am. Oh. What are you doing? What is this I room? Storage area. This is like the this room is like where I the bank. In when I was a kid, we used to jump in here and sneak in and like sleep it's in the box. The storage and area. Oh, no, okay. Suitcases back here. I see. If you really wanted to live dangerously, you could. You like, know, I wish like... there was like a hatch you could like get up through. Instead of just yeah. climbing up, that'd be cool. Or, or Weird, a hatch to get under. There's a ladder on the back of the train car. I know, but like, you know, like if you're in a car, you can just get up through the top. Where is this? Back this is Valentine? Valentine. Okay, well, here we are. <laughs> nice one. Oh, that was fun. Oh, goodness. My mm. life is complete. I hopped a train. <laughs> no, You've sorry. already done that. A long time ago, maybe, but... Yeah. Alright, now what? Mommy. Mommy. Woody, Woody, Woody. Just shut up. Hey, you're dumb. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, hey, Percy. <laughs> Welcome to the party. No. Yeah, you really I... did get the best horse. I mean, that horse I did. is so He's so good. It's just, yeah, he is. None He's of mine pay any fucking attention to me whatsoever. I'm joking, man. Get him. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Oh, you missed. Oh. All right. Now you uh, just got my fucking clothes dirty. There. Now you get to go on. There. Put her on. Yeah, I'm, I'll be kidnapping the mayor, on, though, then what? We're putting her on trial for being dumb. <laughs> Alright, well, wouldn't be the first time. Oh. Trial for stupidity. Well, you didn't yeah. actually go through the trial the last time. No, that's true. Because someone was stupider than me. <laughs> so the charges got out. Yeah, well. Well, I mean, the time before that, you know, with... The time before... Oh, yeah. No, I know. I know. I remember that. No, I was maybe. so scared sitting in that cell. I thought my fucking life was over. And that was that was so small and everything after everything that happened after that was so much bigger. And to think all these times, each time I get upset about something and I think the world is going to come to a fucking end, the world comes and shows me that it can end in a much grander fashion. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. We got it. Well, maybe you'll for... you'll learn not to maybe think that got a bounty everything for... is the worst. A Mamie Holtz Club, but it's spelled instead of a W with an X. <laughs> there. So we got it wrong. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> it's the wrong Mamie Holtz Club. Wrong Mamie Holtz Club. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I look back on the things that's happened, and I remember being in that moment and thinking, just oh, my walking. God, my life is over. Everything's done. And then it just turns around, slaps me in the face, and shows me, again, no, we're not done with you yet. We have lots of levels of miserable to put you through before it's over. <laughs> yeah. you just walk in there and say, we got her. 
We got yeah. a... We get yeah. a Package all... delivery. Yeah. The elusive dum-dum. Yeah. <laughs> Le... Le dum bendito. Le dum, Le dum. Le dum bendito. We got her. It's consensual, don't worry. We got, we got her. her. She's yeah, ours now. We finally got her. They're just turning in their bounty here. Yeah. <laughs> How much is the bounty? Five thousand. Minus two dollars. I don't know. Not enough. Yeah, one dollar. One dollar bounty is gonna make us rich. One dollar. <laughs> Minus one dollar. <laughs> I better be worth more than a fucking dollar. <laughs> well, <clears throat> instead of sending a telegram, uh, Miss Mamie. Yes, uh, sir. Virgil's arrived to take over his post. I'm gonna go ahead and, and step down now. Down. All right. Thank no, you, she's mine. I really appreciate it. I oh, really you want to put her in the cell? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. She... Can we collect our one dollar bounty? You yeah. know I have keys to that, right? <laughs> well, you're tied up. You can't do Wait. nothing. Miss oh. Mamie, do you consent I... to this bounty being upheld? No. <laughs> sure, can we, sure. Can we collect this bounty? Collect your bounty. <laughs> there. <laughs> well, uh, technically, someone has to put up the bounty. Alright, here you go. La stupido bendito. Oh, I hope you cleaned the piss off that before you threw me on it. I... Deny okay. everything. I'm, I'm assuming that's a no. Oh, do I have All to right. cut you out? Okay. No, we flip the matches every five years. So, <laughs> why don't I don't want to hear about <laughs> it, maybe. Sarah! Hey, and here you were saying all the things you were saying. Look at that. I don't know. Can I like pay I, bail? Like I said, you know... World always has Can you pay money. bail? Is it a dollar? <laughs> it's minus one dollar. They pay me. There's not a bounty on me. They're just kidding. Took They're it. just being silly. Going to Cisco. Yeah. There's your one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! We got a dollar! <laughs> a whole dollar, you A whole dollar! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Fuckers. A whole dollar. <laughs> you gonna split it? Do I get fifty cents? Oh, thank you. Fifty cents for me. Hooray! Wait, you weren't getting any. Oh, that's right. I can't get my. Yeah, you can't get your own bounty. That's not how it works. How you doing, Lily? You doing all right today, sweetheart? Well, honey, I don't know what to tell you except you know, try to. Try to try to move on, sweetheart. You know there'll be better things out there for you. Let me go say hi to Miss Sarah. I haven't seen her in days. Hold on, Sarah. One whole dollar. I can buy a magazine with this. <laughs> I'm dime now. If it's true what I'm hearing, that this ocean guy that owns the gun store won't come back until after a big hit. He doesn't deserve to own this place, and you should give it to someone else. Damn. Well, the thing is, is that there can be more than one gunsmith. It, it, I, I need to I'm have just it saying the main owner shouldn't be him. If he can't commit yeah. now, do you trust him to commit then? Uh, not particularly, no, but the person that owns it with him uh, has my confidence. And that and person that? has been back and spoken to me. Good. So... But uh, I need gunsmiths around the clock, so it's not going to uh, particularly belong to any one person, I don't think. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I'm going to be honest with you, but it needs to be manned around the clock. I want people here all the time so that everybody, if they need access to guns and stuff like that, can can have access to it. Uh, that's actually, that's wonderful. Because I've been <laughs> needing to talk to right. you. <laughs> yeah, who's um, that talking? John Black. Oh, uh, hey. I <laughs> talked with you, with you about the ocean I remember, yeah. before. <laughs> Yeah, I cannot tell you specifically who is going to own the, own the building itself, or if that is even something that is a thing after the storm. I really don't know, but I know that regardless of who owns that shop, there need to be gunsmiths working out of that shop. Alrighty, and uh, I will would... work out who I believe should be if if I have to actually like apply an owner to the building. Uh, I will decide who that will be after the storm uh, based on. You know who's been around frankly i don't give a shit you know um so i don't know if you uh currently are a gunsmith yes i am i okay. i've got my you... license down in lemoyne i just 
I have not been working up here because I'm, as far as I'm aware, you I'm are a, a, welcome. supposed to be allowed to. You Pardon. are welcome to work there. You have my permission to work in the gunsmith up here. There's no Wonderful. one currently in there right now operating it. And I, the most important thing is that it is under operation. Well, there goes right. the last of Rhodes individuals. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's, I'm still, I still work down there. <laughs> Although, admittedly, there's not a whole you lot You are the only regular business that was um, active down there. Not a massive, cowardly well, game. after the storm, I have a feeling that that is all going to change for all the areas. I think every place is going to have a part to play in the whole thing. We just need to help each other keep businesses alive and support each other, no matter what city we're from. Hello, Mr. Buckethead. Now, my hope is uh, to more or less um, uh, be a traveling gunsmith. Work down there, work up here, work all over. Yeah, well, just just make sure you check with the mayor of each city, and I can't imagine oh, it would yeah. be a problem at all. Hey, Mammy. Bucket Man? Yes, ma'am. Would you uh, like The big a... uh, storm everybody keeps talking about, Bucket Man, is yeah. a big um, state thing that's going to happen. Uh, it's going to be a lot of new stuff coming in, like ranch work and a lot of that shit. New economy, which means our pockets are going to be empty. It's going to be a big tax on this big storm, if you may. Yeah. Our money going to be gone. All our guns, our horses, everything is going to be a new stable. Our back's going to be restitched. But it has a big tax. Oh, what the, the thing. hell do you think you're putting that mask on for? Any. Hmm. Shut up. No. <laughs> You're dumb. You're dumb. No, you... Takes one to know one. Dumb. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. I'll do now I'm a muddy one. dummy. I'll slap you. I'll slap you too. I'll slap no. you harder. No. <laughs> I'll do it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, well, you probably slap have it coming. Slap him, slap him. You guys are he's a, you guys. He's a dumb dummy. Tail. Don't make me pull this horse over. <laughs> what is a oh, big dumb dirty. dummy? Thanks a lot. Oh my. All right, I'll be right back. I got dirty. one more little piece of mayor business. Somebody wants to speak to me. I'll be right back. I think I need to punch out of mayoring. But I don't think you can do that. So I don't think you I can. I'm sorry for the disruption. <laughs> I, I apologize. Well, well, Mammy, you could just put on different clothes. Well, that just, I could too, but I haven't had a chance to do that yet. So and just right. say I'm I'm currently off mayoral duties. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're never off mayoral duties, yeah. whether you like it or not. Yeah. Unfortunately. All right. What can I do for you? The price of nobility. Uh, yeah. Does the saloon have an owner yet? Uh, the small one. Uh, That's it depends. Dumb. Doesn't really matter. The large saloon has an owner. Uh, the uh, smaller saloon does not at this time. But I have several people lined up looking at it. So if you're interested in it, just slip a little note of interest in my pocket with your name on it. And uh, I will take a look at what your, let me know what your ideas for it are and how you plan to keep it busy and working. And uh, I will uh, get back to you on uh, on that once I decide. Yeah, I want uh, to apply for it. All right. Well, do you know how to find me and slip a note in my pocket? What? I mean, he can help me with it. Yeah, just uh, what I want you to do is just slip a note in my pocket uh, or put it on my desk in the mayor's office, which is behind the bank. Just put a note on my desk uh, that states your interest, what you're interested in, and what your plans would be to keep it active and help forward, uh, uh, bring, help, help encourage bringing good people into the community and keeping them here. Uh, I just want to know what your ideas are for business and what, what you think to do with the bar, what your ideas are for the bar. Just keep it simple. You don't have to get all detailed or anything. Just Just tell me how you plan to be active, how active you plan to be, and uh, maybe let me know what your... Uh, what what stars you uh, are awake under, if you could do that. Yeah, sure, I can do that. All right, all right. Well, go ahead and do that, and uh, 
uh, as as the storm gets closer, I will make a decision on who's going to take ownership of the uh, the bar, and I'll let you know. All right. Who owns the big Thank bar? You. Just curious. All right. Have a nice day. You too. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Who said my name? Storm. Will I uh, keep my job, or will we have to? Uh... You will keep your job. Everybody right. has a job. We'll keep their job. All right. Amazing. Um, do you know if uh, the actual like main owner comes back soon? Because this guy behind me with the black golden hat, he wants to, uh, you know, be a gunsmith too. And uh, well, I kind of discussed with the other owner, and we said like because we wake up at different times, if you know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. He said I am in charge of my time, and he's in charge of his time. But I don't know if I'm allowed to actually like give someone the job because he's not around right now, you know. Yeah, no, no, I can, I, I can, uh, I can give him that the gun. I believe I can do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. You just have to put something in his pocket, I guess. Yeah, yeah. All right. um, yeah, it's it's the guy uh, with the black gold. Yeah, well, everybody else, step away right yeah. now. I'm gonna sell him a pump and thank you. What? Uh, oh. Thank you, Mimi. Gonna make it active. Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't do it. I'll shoot you. <laughs> shoot you first. We'll do it. No. <laughs> you can't. I wouldn't. <sighs> Made me so busy. Busy, busy, may or may me. Hey, what were you uh, asking me? I'm so sorry. Who is the uh, owner of the big saloon? Uh, the big one is James Washington. Oh. So I haven't seen nobody doing no bartending in there for a very long time. Uh, they're actually in there quite a bit. Are they? Okay, just yeah, not when are. I'm around. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The small saloon is currently the only place it's not owned. And that fella? I mean... And the general store. I'm gonna strap a burrito to some glasses. I've never seen him before. Which one? The one he just asked about, the little one. Oh yeah, I haven't either, and I'm not in a big hurry to give it out either, so... Uh, I'm gonna put it where I think it's gonna be in the best hands, and that's all there is to it. Is there a, actually anyone else aside from me that's... Uh, there were a couple people that briefly expressed interest, but they never put any notes in my pocket. So right. if I don't have a note in my pocket, it is not considered uh, any kind of interest to me. So I suppose that includes me, huh? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it does. Yeah, but you you have put a note in my pocket about that That's in a true. roundabout way. So yeah, no, I and I know exactly how you work and and what you would want to do with it. So don't worry about that. But it doesn't have a uh, piano, maybe. <laughs> well, that is something we could probably we could probably arrange. I mean. <sighs> But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to go change my clothes real quick. Do you want me to back. write up something no. formal? Uh, yeah, wouldn't hurt mm -hmm. if you uh, have time. But uh, you don't have to do that right now. You can do that any time, you know, because we got a little bit of time on for us. So. That's right, because you're not doing any of that till after the storm. Yeah, well, yeah, officially, but uh, I am going to start handing out business deeds before the storm at some point, but I need to sit down and uh, someone's helping me right now on uh, deeds mm. for property. So as soon as uh. I have those, I'll start handing them out. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go change my clothes. No. 
that? No. Don't know me. You're not allowed. Why? Because you're dumb. No, I'm not. You're dumb. You? Yeah, you are. Look you want to be my security guard? Look at you. You're dumb. Where are you? <laughs> mm -hmm. <Yeah. laughs> oh, no. Why are you being dumb right now? I'm not dumb. No. I uh have -huh, you. Get back on, get on the ground again. No. 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 <laughs> you get on the ground. What is going on? She's bullying me. No, he's bullying me. Hey, that's my hat. No. Oh, Mandy. I'm done. I looked on. Um, still wearing my doctor uniform. Hmm. No, I'm not. I've always worn this. <laughs> Before that was ever a thing. They took my clothes and made it a doctor thing. I've always liked blue. <laughs> you just you're just wearing your doctor uniform. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You no, look like this always. Every single day. Yeah. It's because it's what I always used to wear. No, it's not. And the doctors used to wear red anyway. I don't know why they changed that. Yeah, they, they did. They used to wear red. I know, because I was there. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. No. I was there. You're lying. I didn't like it because I had to wear you're red. Do I? Because you're dumb. Your face is dumb. No. Your beard is dumb. <laughs> That's all I got going for me. <laughs> well, it's dumb. No. It's a big dummy. Dum dum. No. Officer, she called me dumb. <laughs> beat her up. He's a big dum dum. No, beat her up. He's, he's being a big dumb, dumb face. She called me dumb. That won't fix my emotional wounds. <laughs> Come on, you're a tough boy. I, I met you last night. You done really tough last night. No, he's a big dum dum. Oh, she's getting me all dirty. Uh... He's a big dummy dum. Yeah, uh, take your take your bandages. Go you go to sleep. Ow. Go to bed. No, you don't want me to go to bed. You're all muddy though. You're a mess. Al, you're Father, all muddy. Who art in heaven? Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom. <laughs> what? Thy will be done. There we go. Why don't you better. pray to someone else or change? It's the only thing I can remember from Sister Perpetua beating it into my fucking head when I was a kid. So. I'm not pray to Zeus or Artemis or something. Artemis. You look like a dog that's God rolled in the mud. The like a what? There we go. There we go. Look there, at you. There we go. Yeah. I'll drag you through the right mud. I'll do it. Do it. I dare you. Do it. Okay. Do I'm it. Do it. Do it. Ow. Oh. She's gonna get all muddy. Ow. Oh. 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 Ow. She's getting in. She's getting all muddy. Ah, uh, not the big puddle, no. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, no, the big one. Oh, no, oh, that's really oh, muddy. That, yeah, that oh, that's really mud. Oh, it's wet. It's cold. Oh. Oh. Ah. That's Dumb cold. Muddy. That's really cold. Oh. Now look you got, at like, you got mud in your nostrils. Oh. Look at you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. Defend yourself. <laughs> wow, you are really, like... Yeah, am I? 
Yeah. Oh. How about how about you? Are you? Well, no, I wasn't. You look alright. Yeah, no <laughs> okay? Let's get the front oh. too. Oh, what? Oh, Mami, thanks a lot. You're yeah. looking a bit. You're looking a bit cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my ow! God. Ow! <laughs> ow! I'll I'll slap you. Mud fight. Oh, <laughs> right he sweeped you off your feet. Yep, Look at that. Yep. <laughs> me next, me oh. next. God damn it. Wait, how do you do that? Fuck. Oh, Fuck, oh. hey. 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 Oh, <laughs> oh muddy yeah, time. Muddy. Mud. Yeah. Oh, he's, he, he just did a roll. There we go, in the big pot. Ow, <laughs> ow. <laughs> I'm in the mud now. Get all muddy. No, drag me to the mud. Everybody get muddy. Everybody's get muddy. It's mud time. We all love Valentine mud, you know. Oh, <laughs> muddy. God, I think I swallowed something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you look. Yeah. You look probably. I can't even see your face on the mud. <laughs> well, I mean that's probably an improvement, right? <laughs> I don't think that's allowed in certain states. Yeah, well. I Can you see? No, it wasn't. I'm not definitely swallowed. You're it's good for you. <laughs> now you know what we're all we're missing now is William, Anna, and Gemma, and Savannah to come yell at us Savannah for being in the mud. And <laughs> Josie. And Josie. Josie. Where yeah, where is Josie? Josie? Josie's. Where is she? She's been MIA. I, I haven't know. seen her. No, she she hasn't been around. Is she okay? <laughs> yeah. As far as I know, I mean, uh, I, need I, need to... I gotta get something to eat at oh, some point. Wow. I got some meat. Uh, excuse me. You got some what? No comment. Cooked meat. Yeah. <coughs> Toasted bread. Ah, oh, delicacy. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. I cook you people meals. So where are do we you go is, is, is you want to go make some goulash? Let's go hunting and go make some goulash and go no. picking things and go. Yeah, we, <laughs> all right. Well, who's I've got a cart, I think. You got a cart? I think I got I a think so. Let me, let me go. Let me go. So I'll go check. Uh, I gotta go clean up. Yo, I'll yeah, I'll well. be here. Okay. <sighs> was it Virgil? That was bad. Yes, ma'am. Nice to meet you, Virgil. I'm Andy. Really? We've met before at the grand opening at another country. And... Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, a lot of people uh, came through. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh... So I heard that you and uh, Miss Mayor had plans of opening up the saloon over there. Tooth and tonics. <laughs> no, tail tonics. <laughs> Tooth and yes. Dentistry and tonics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well... I don't know what if it's possible here, but maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, oh, we'll just move it into Valentine and make it the small place over there. Who knows? You leave it now, right before the storm? No, that was dumb. Yeah. Was just... yeah. yeah, no, I was just testing, just checking to make Just sure checking, yeah, of course. Just checking. I was just checking. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to move your cot. You're blocking both sheriff and doctor's parking Oh, no, 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 no. Hello. Hello. Hey. Ow. Oh, no, why? What'd I do? Absolutely nothing. I said hi. It was that, wasn't it? <laughs> I have a question. Do you... Are you... You're just regular deputy, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, temporary until the storm hits, and then I'll be working at this general store. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Hmm. Yeah. That's Vir a thought. Virgil's going to be our... Uh... Our, uh, Maybe I could do man. that instead. Do what? Be deputy until the storm and then... Do you want to? Sure. Alright. Well, uh... You can't hurt. Let me see here. Uh, shoot, I don't... I think... 
can you hire Virgil? I don't think so. I think that well, I'm, I'm I can. You know, I think Waya is going to. Yeah, it's going to put you as sheriff, but I don't think Waya would have a problem. He can yeah, fix the he can fix the title in the roster. Or so. Of police. Oh, Hello. there's Waya. I was going to say this is oh. him in the door. Waya, Andy wants to be a deputy until the storm comes. Okay. I tried it and it wouldn't work. But oh well. Um, <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Hello. You okay? Uh huh. You sleepy? No. No. You sound weird. You don't sound like Waya. Yeah, sure he does. Just, what just do sort of stuffy Waya. Just kind of subdued He's Waya. He's not in his chief for mood or something. You sick? Uh, you no. Right? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. There you go. Flex your eye muscle. Don't make me okay. break out a cup of tea for you. Oh, oh God! My Lord! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How are you, Way? You all right? I'm good. You good? Yeah. Hey, Woody. The water people's calling you. What? Hello. Oh, no, Henry. <laughs> I love it when he does that. Oh Lord. No. <laughs> oh Lord, uh, Lord, Lord. Yeah. How you doing? Sweetie? Well, I'd seen a what are you doing? Yeah, well, if you I don't know. Me that yesterday, Consoling? I probably told you I was ready to give up and run away, but thanks to Woody what? and William, you know. Right, sorry, I'm just writing paperwork. Well, Gemma, they took her. Okay. Uh, apprehended her yesterday. Are you doing your paperwork, Sheriff? Uh, I was adding Andy to the roster, yes. It's not really a uniform yet. There will be when the storm comes, but at the moment, I don't know who's going to be a deputy and who isn't because everybody's. Either I'm going to be a deputy to the storm, or there I'm going to be a deputy and then I never see them again. I don't know. <laughs> what? Alright, now I can arrest you, Woody. So you need to do all the paperwork yeah. you have now, you have to do it again. Yeah, but yeah. worse. Well, yeah. well don't, don't you just have to remove you know. people? What? Get them, yeah, get them. You're done. No. You make a turd look happy. You're the dumbest. <laughs> You're the dumbiest. <coughs> hmm. So shut up, cause you're dumb. Hi. What? No. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, I think you may. Have... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just gonna stand by. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was aiming for me or for. Or for him. Oh, okay. Clearly, it was for him. All right. Is it ropes this time? Roping him. Rope -a he's roping him. Ow. Now I'm all muddy. Your aim sucks, way. Don't do that. Which ass oh, no. had used the bullet? Uh oh. Ow. <laughs> I was trying to cut Somebody did a thing. <laughs> Someone cut me free before the storm, please. Oh, yeah, it's pretty close, isn't it? Who's used the bolas? Me. There you was an asshat using those things. What? Ow. 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 Oh. Oh no. Ow. <laughs> you know you wake up, it's fine. You'll wake up after oh, the storm. Oh, shit. Don't worry. <laughs> Ow! No, I won't! 
I'm down for the count. <laughs> oh, is he? Oh, did I did I push you down all the way? I'm sorry. <laughs> going to Sisica. Hey, you're going to Sisica. We're all. <laughs> oh my god. No. 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 The storm will get you up. Don't Out. Worry. Sorry. No. Sorry. Sorry. I've been knocked out. All right, well I'm gonna get you out. Same. Or not? Ah, uh, ah, uh, get over here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, trying to help though. No. Stop it! Ah. ah. Well, that was fun.
know about him. Shot man right side of the bank. They're fully under uh, investigation, so that's good. How are you doing, ma'am? Hello. I'm good. Is this possibly the under sheriff here? Uh -huh. No, she's a no. deputy. Damn. Andy, did the way I come back? Uh, I guess he fell asleep or went into the office. I don't know. Could be anywhere right now. Shoot. Hmm. Thinking as a change of pace, we should probably try and hunt up in Amberino. What do you think? Maybe. What's in Amberino? I like what? What? What's there to hunt in uh, Amberino? Bears. Bears. There's some shit up there. I meant oh. Upper Amberino. A lot of bears. Hmm. I have no idea why someone bought Coulter. Seems like a stupid move considering it's an abandoned town. Hmm. I don't even think the person who owns it knows the name of it, actually. <laughs> Can buy a town? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hello. Hey. The way I finish it is in air. Oh, okay. Shut up. To... Sh shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, maybe. <laughs> no. Oh. Unshut up. Oh. Unshut up. Unshut up. Is that a word? I guess it is no. now. Huh? Right. Yeah, well... But uh, I thought of a place yeah, we can go hunting. There he is. Because we oh, haven't great. been in there. Because oh, we haven't been there for a while. Upper and uh, You got a guy here. Nice. That would be that would be nice. And also, Gemma's gonna be waking up in about ten minutes, shut, shut so I figured we could wait for. Her. What? Shut up. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'm not gonna say no to that. I definitely, definitely. Do you have experience in? Uh... <laughs> Wait, that was I think awkward. I have that an was idea. a little awkward. I have an idea. What if we all just go limp and not say anything? <laughs> <laughs> just stay on the ground all limp. Oh, so the other guy oh, the mud. <laughs> We're returning to the mud. I remember the guy that we have become mud. I've, I've become Valentine. Hi, darling. This local's looking at us. <laughs> Yeah. I'm becoming Valentine. I'm becoming one mud. with Valentine right now. We are becoming one with the mud. Yeah. I'm not sure if this is actually mud, though. I think it's pretty much just horse shit. No, it's mud. <laughs> uh, hi. Oh, but we are nice becoming one with the mud. One with the mud. One with Valentine. Well, well y'all enjoy that. I already had my taste. <laughs> uh... Well, yeah. Where is he? Needs to come and join us. Turn to the mud. There. Oh, He's doing it. He's got business. Informants? Uh -oh. No. Uh oh, is there? <laughs> He's returning. Wait, wait, oh wait. shit! <laughs> hold on, hold on, guys. Informants. God damn it. Do you have informants, but? Yeah, us. just one. Hang okay. On. All right. Um, no, I, I took a wrong French. Time to stop acting. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it here in Belgium? That's uh, yeah. Lily. Hey. There he is. How you doing, man? Yo, know, it's Mr. Bucket. I'm all right. What happened to Bucket here? He had a... Somebody gave him a, a very strong hug by accident. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I've been there, done that. <laughs> anyway, we should get some winter clothes on. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Just going to oh, do a little hunting and hanging out. and. Mm -hmm. We need to get our winter clothes taking on. Taking a fucking breath. Ambrino. Well, you be good now. Just let me know uh, if you need anything. Thank you, Kyle. Will do. And then likewise, too. Likewise. I also right. want to tell you something. Come here. Okay. And Perino. Mm -hmm. All right. Ah, God, it's mud. I swear to Christ. Hey, how you been, by the way? I ain't seen you in a little bit. I'm good. I'm a good. deputy now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
I heard some uh, spiritual congratulations right in order. Oh, oh yes. Yes. <laughs> Go for you. Yeah. It'll be good, but I probably... I'm not sure how much I'm going to be around in the next month due to it, but... Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do my best. Missing. Yeah, well, we'll be missing you. Uh, I work too hard. Ah, uh, no promises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But... Probably won't feel much like working, to be honest, but... Yeah. Alright, let's, uh, let's go find some warm weather gear. I mean, this is my warm weather gear. It's like four layers, but... I just need to put my coat on. Whoever that fair was decided I need an extra layer of mud. <laughs> Keeps you warm. Oh, yes, yeah, good insulation. <laughs> the downside is you smell like horseshit. <laughs> well, that's part of the charm of Valentine. Mm -hmm. Amen to that. I am gonna go find a bath. Well, you're dumb. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. you're dumb too. Uh, no. Yeah. No. I'm so sorry. No. Yeah, if it looks dumb. No dumb. <laughs> You're gonna pants on your dumb. N no. Dumb pantsless man. No. Oh, shit. Okay, you're fucking Ow. me up here. Sorry. Careful. Live friendly. Can Can you just? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's quite an outfit you got on. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> um, that's not very colorful, though. Usually, I wear much more colorful clothes, just like my my brother here. Indeed. <laughs> hey, let me see. Hello. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing fine. Wow. Well, <laughs> mm. That's one what's, way. What's to your name? Well, my name is Dutchie Dad Aquila, but most people call me Mr. D. Dutchie Dad Aquila, but you Ducha can call me Mr. D. Dutchie Dad Aquila. There you go. And uh, you miss? I'm Echo. Echo. I've heard your names around, I think. Yeah, what did you hear? Was, yeah, <laughs> what did you hear? Tell me everything. Uh, no, no, nothing. You know. Nothing good. Okay, I understood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's well, go? unfortunately. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's Faye. It's Mr. Frey, Mrs. Frey. Uh. I need to go. Back. Oh, she needs to do mm. a big bang thingy. <laughs> well, at least uh, I'll be able to see you from a distance. <laughs> Especially <laughs> that one. Indeed. All right, have a lovely day, Miss. Uh, what's your short name? Martin? I'm Andy. Alrighty, Andy. Have a lovely day, Miss Andy. You too. What? You done? No. I'm gonna take a bath. No, I'm trying my best.
Howdy, howdy. Hello. Can I get you a drink? Why did Mr. Uh, just, did you got lemonade? With me? A bit of I sure ass. do. How many would you need? Uh, five. Alright, coming right up. I might want to go to the other side of the table for that, but... No, it's, it's alright. Should yeah. be right here. Alright. <clears throat> I keep telling people how much are you? On your own risk. Horrible. Hmm? How much are you? I don't have a mask. Uh, no, you don't. Everything. It's uh, on the house. Enjoy. Oh, uh, thank you. You alright? Right. No problem. So, uh, mm -hmm. Hey, James, when was the last time you um, put new eggs in there? Hell yeah. Wait. I got some bread, sir. Hey, lady. Hey there. Just in time. Yeah, I've been instructed to find a coat. Yes, it will be cold. Snow is involved, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hopefully it'll still be fun, even though snow is involved. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna get warm now. Okay, get warm. I can never find coats that I like either. Nice one. Nah. <laughs> what, Percy so just we, really likes Buck? We're going up to him, <sighs> Greeno. Yeah, presume we ain't taking carriage, then we'll go get Western. No, I think we're taking right. a hunting carriage, aren't we? <laughs> your horse Andy, I will really hog tie your ass. <laughs> I will throw fucking ballers around your neck. Alright, I'm going to get wish I'll be back. You motherfucker. I... Sure, were you the one that helped me about brushing my horse? Uh, get the fuck so. over. <laughs> Fucking motherfucker. <laughs> Aww.
Go get yourself another bath. That's and one. sometimes. I just got clean. Mm. I swear to God. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh. Wrong, <laughs> now we gotta both get ourselves clean. Anyway, so are we taking a hunting carriage or not? I thought we were. I think Mamie's got a hunting carriage. Okay, or a hunting. Well, hunting well, she's cart. Herself dressed. Oh, no, he's mad at me. I'll beat you up. Why didn't you get yourself cleaned? No, I did it once today. I'm not going to do it again. No, you don't have to. Do you not know how to wash yourself I up? I do, but I don't care. If I'm going to take a bath, I'm going to take a full bath. I'll fucking, I'll dip you in a river. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, bath's glorious. It's hot water. It's actual soap. I remember bass once glorious. I had to drag someone to a river and clean them because they haven't bathed for 40 years. Oh, yikes. Yeah, in that case, uh, I don't think, uh, I literally hogtied his ass and brought him to the river. Motherfucker, that's Cherise. Get off. <laughs> Cherise looks very similar. Oh, you look similar to a dog. Headache? Yes, he's having a cloning. Look, a Percy doppelganger is right there. Oh, don't say. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I don't understand. There you go. Huh. Down strawberry. Hey, that oh. is weird. That is weird. Now clock off, you idiot. I can't. Even if I clock off, I get the informants. I ain't technically clocked in. <sighs> I meant to ask you about that. Is there a way to actually clock off here? No. Nope. Oh, that's so annoying. Yep. Okay. Someday. Because yeah, I kept thinking Maybe. last night um, while I was, you know, dealing with a trial. Um, that it'd be really useful if they stopped coming in while people were giving testimony, but I couldn't make them stop. Yeah, uh, no, it, they may be changing that with the, the big storm, but uh, mm -hmm. to my knowledge, it's just kind of get paid to deal with it. And, yeah, All right, yeah, and there's no actual time clock in an office somewhere either, because I've seen that too. No, where you actually no. Go punch um, in and out. I mean, if you're going to be on like a leave of absence where, again, getting the SOPs up, and it's going to be like fire and rehire just so that, you know, if you're a mayor or something, you're not getting inundated with all that shit. But, uh, yeah. Right. So, like, the day off is only a day off if you say, it's my day off, I'm not doing anything? Absolutely. For, for yeah. me, if I ain't, if I ain't uh, clocked on in the Discordia and I ain't in uniform, I just ignore the informants for the most part. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, my horse. Where did I put my horse? What you mean, ma'am? <laughs> Weirdo. He's looking at me when I said that. It's like, well, maybe uh, you look a little more girlish than you thought. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. You, you well, still got I, your mustache, don't you? My feet are nicer. <sighs> we should probably get out in the middle of the road. No. <laughs> then go round. Be an obstruction of traffic. See if I care. <laughs> I'm a deputy now. I don't have to. Wait, you're a what now? Yeah. Really? Yeah. At least until the storm. For now. Huh. I mean... I just want to yeah. help out. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, I'm not don't... sure if it's a congratulations sort of situation, but. You want to freeze to death? Yeah. I don't like jackets. <laughs> Again, you were going to no. have nipples hard enough to cut glass. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. 
I mean, get a fucking jacket on. Oh my god, alright. <laughs> I'm playing around with that shit. Man, last oh. thing you want is a uh, traumatic frostbite amputation of the chest. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> I am. Now, you wouldn't be able to cauterize it neither, because it's frozen blood vessels up near the heart. That'd be, uh, actually be a real bad issue, so. Last thing you want is, uh, having, you know, the aorta going for frozen to, to burn the heat straight away. You probably just shatter the blood vessels. We'll crystallize the blood, which would be even worse than stop the heart. Anyhow, uh, yeah. <laughs> there it is, brain of buck. <sighs> Never an tirade of useless medical stuff. And occasional, occasional uh, visits from the bean bear. Is that good? What? Was it tasty? Sort of. <laughs> all, I, all I've been eating is just cornmeal. Mm. I mean, you know what? I ain't real. <laughs> Some other doctor can do with that. I'm off duty. <laughs> All right, you good now? Yeah. Do we need the wagon? Yeah. You just say the wagon? I said the wagon. The wagon? She She's taking the wagon. Her German's it's coming scary. out. The wagon. Dumb call. Gemma? Yeah, Your sense she's... of uh, intelligence? Oh. Yeah, that's pretty much been out the door for a long time. I think time, she's getting though, a so. coat or something. Yeah, who else are we missing though? It feels like we're missing someone else. Uh, Waya? If Waya was coming? Yeah. We can drag him. We can hog time and put him in the cart. Well, if he wants to. <laughs> Wait, what? If he wants to. Yeah, exactly. Where? Yes. Hi. You're very quiet. Am I? Keep like super there. quiet. I'm sorry. But, hello. Hello. What? What do? Oh, we're gonna go hunting. You wanna come? Uh. Are you busy? Not. 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 Not really. Be nice to actually get away from this porch, to be honest. That's why I sound like shit. And everyone keeps saying, Am I okay? I'm like, I'm fine. It's just this porch is becoming like a prison. Yeah. Gotta stand there, okay. wait for someone to come up to me and be like, You have two deputies here. You can go in. Yeah. He's not my deputy. Not William, the other guy. William's a. I don't even know what he is. I'm a fucking marshal. Then wear a white <laughs> like a marshal. No! That's your <laughs> uniform. That's not our uniform. Regardless, there's, a, there's enough around that you can take a little a little trip okay, with well, friends. It's just that all the marshals decided well, to wear white hats. <laughs> well, that man that you just spoke to then, I've just given, he's now a deputy. Um, uh, he, uh, I don't know, how, how can I word it? He, um, he came across some documents from the previous sheriff, if you know what I mean. Mm. Right. And he uh, shared them with me, and he is very knowledgeable about the department. And I know that you want, you know, you're debating whether you want to be a deputy to the storm. He seems very interested in helping change the law mm. department. So um, I might investigate him a bit. What? Because he looks like someone. He's just woke up. Today. He looks like Charlie Hook. <laughs> oh, and I'm not sure if Charlie Hook was captured yet. 
At least I did not. Oh. Okay, never mind. I did not receive That's how he prepared the documents. Come on. But yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, sure. if you want to take a break, go for it. Go ahead. Two deputies. Nope. Yep. Oh, it's pickled eggs. Alright, I have collected a wire. Where's Mary? Where'd everybody go? Oh, Mary's right there. Mm. Alright, now we're just waiting on Gemma. And Mimi. Oh, is she? Yeah, Mimi is, uh. Okay. It's dark anyway right now, so. Does anyone see me? Uh, Izzy. Nope. Izzy. No, she's oh. a doctor. Isabella Sage. Yes, yeah, she. Uh, okay. I am ain't seen her today. But... Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, me, 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 and Izzy are together, so. Oh. Just, just, oh. Just to uh let you know, we've been together for a couple of days. So. Well, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. She's a uh, bit of an awkward situation. Why? Yeah. No, I think I understand. Yeah, you know why. Yeah. Me? But it. No, Buck knows. Uh, She's carrying Crazy Horse's child. Oh. Which it doesn't bother me. Um, I will. I will raise that child as if he was mine. But I will never take the place of his father. No, he won't. Really know his oh, father, really. For fuck's sake. Hell. Mm. What the fuck happened here? <laughs> I'm a lawman, and he oh. tried to rob me. <clears throat> Never mind that. In the middle of town, he tried to rob you. Alrighty. Yeah, your videos like that. It's real. But it's as stupid as he looks. Is there a doctor in town? I'm not yeah, sure about a doctor. Oh, Jimmy's around. Some down there. Stop. Oh, we need a doctor. Stop being serious, then. Hmm. See it. I'm just gonna kill him. Taco. No worries. You're off. See it. Chill. You're you're oh. off. Fine. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, so he was as dumb as he looked. He pulls his pistol on me, and uh... Are you twinkling? Mm-hmm. Sure nice. Would you rather I not? No, I, get, no, I never get a thing that says that you twinkle anymore. Even, uh, even when anybody I Anybody seen where Sarah you know, went to? Weird. Oh, what was that? Maybe? Where had... Where the heck Sarah go? I don't, I don't know. know. Whatever you're eating sounds nice. Yeah, it is. Sorry about that. Uh, just <laughs> some, some peanut butter I had in my pocket. Some uh. <laughs> so waiting for Sarah and Gemma? I don't know where Sarah went. I, I, I thought don't... she knew we were going to do this, but I think she took off somewhere. So huh. Sarah doesn't. Sarah, Sarah, whenever we go out in a group like this, goes off because she doesn't feel like she fits in with our group. So she always disappears. No, oh, but she does fit in. She fits right in. Um, does she not realize the kind of group we are? We have like three natives, an three. illegal immigrant. I don't fucking know. Uh, you, oh, Nikoi, mean... and two feathers. I suppose William and Dana count too. William, what? Why? They're thirty percent native. <laughs> what? Australia? No. What what William are you talking about? Doctor William? Yes. He's not native. Born you in asked Australia. Buck. He's Aborigine, yes he is, sorta. Of. Well he's native of Australia, yeah. A native Oh, so now we're gonna be Aust well, now we're gonna be prejudiced about what kind of native you are. I see how this is. Alright, alright. I mean, <laughs> you've never seen prejudice. <laughs> No, I suppose not. Try being the son of a Muslim in Germany and see how that works out for you. Son of a Muslim in Germany. Try being two feathers, son. Uh. I win. 
<laughs> you mean you win? <laughs> Dad, I don't want to eat Gemma my veg. Dad, 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 I don't want to eat my veg. Gemma's head popped, and she is now in a very long train. <laughs> oh, Wait, shit. Wait, that yeah. means you lose. No, so, I win. I win at losing. Mean, you win I win at losing. <laughs> So she knows where we were headed, though, so, uh... What the fuck is going... Oh, I yeah. I'm yeah, okay. not sure. I'm just a little concerned. I, I just don't... Don't worry. I don't want Sarah is what I'm... Is she... I have another new deputy, awake? maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure where we, she we ha went. We, we have a good department now. I'm <laughs> glad to hear that. That makes we me have, so fucking we have happy. One, is two, that that fella three, you were talking four. about? We have five. Nice. Nice. Let, that man, that let man me that just go let him know in the saloon where we're going to, okay. uh, so they can tell Sarah. Well, that man uh, just, you know, came and spoke to me and interviewed to see if he could fit the role of being a deputy. Uh, you know, on his travels, he procured some uh, documents sold on a uh, market by the previous sheriff. Mm. And he shared them with me and uh, he has extensive knowledge of the department. And I said that I'm very new to being a sheriff and stuff. Um, and he said, is there a ranking system? And he like suggested it and gave, gave me reasons why it would be a good idea. Um, What's this and, fellow's name? Uh, John Sledge. John Sledge. And, uh, and uh, he, you know, um, I said, is there a way, you know, Obviously, you'd have to be a deputy for a while, but you seem very knowledgeable and stuff, and I would like to have somebody like that that could help me with the whole writing and stuff. And, uh, you know, I said, if you live up to uh, the standards that you were putting yourself at, I said, maybe you'll Buck. fit the role of a captain. Bucky? Buck, Buck, I, I hate Buck. me some paperwork, but I'm pretty good at the uh, shoot, implementation man. stuff. Buck, Buck, Buck. Oh, I know. You You'll do. be one of my lieutenants. I might have oh, to. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this because he... I, I want to start from the it. bottom like anyone else. Wait, right, I can't I, do anything. I want to start from the bottom. All right, put him on the back. Of I your don't want any privileges just because you know me. No, it's not. I know that you. I know that you know law. All right, I think. Uh, I think mm. Sarah's on her way, so. I ain't giving you favoritism. You never seen me do it though, so way. how do you know? Because you don't it shout about it. It was never on the way in. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. used to have a story. Well, well, yeah, it's a part of my history, but. You know, I could be shit for all you know. <laughs> and just be could talking be. smack. You could be the shittest fucking deputy I've ever seen. Maybe. Runs, runs away from gunfire, not towards him. Hey, yeah. you want to see the shittiest deputy you ever seen, make me a deputy. <laughs> I'll, I'll, oh my I'll god. That for you right away. Maybe the gunshots are coming from over here, not that way. I don't yeah, care, yeah. I'm going this way. No, yeah. she's the one who's causing the gunshots. Pro yeah, exactly. He, see, Woody's got the right idea, I think. Definitely. Well, uh, Sarah is also in the train, stuck, so... Oh, crap. Gemma and Sarah can just catch up with us, I guess. What a massive train. Holy All shit. All right. Okay, wow. uh, we're going to go up to Spider Gorge, I guess. Sp Spider Gorge? Spider Gorge? Spider Gorge. Very well, very well. Spider, not spatter. I get it. Where the letters what, what, are, you, or somewhere else? Spider. You just say, yeah, where the letters are. But you say spatter gorge. No, it's no spatter you said, gorge. You no, said I spatter, said spatter, spatter gorge. gorge. He did, didn't he, Andy? He said spatter gorge. He did. You're a fucking spatter gorge. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, cart leads the way because the cart. Trail, boys, because I'm going on the road. Sorry, I'm out of here. Bye. What? Hey Mamie, I have a uh, I have a oath slash creed now as sheriff. I don't know why, but voice police really irritate the fuck out of me. I'm just gonna say it right now. Why what? Who is? What voice people who say you're yelling? The fuck out of me. Yes. Well, oh, it's no. because it's so often they talk to. You. I'm not saying it's not my own damn fault, but I'm just saying it irritates the piss out of me. I'm sitting in a wagon at the end of town, getting ready to go out of town, so I got my field so just, voice. Just wait, voice. wait for the trail voice until you start moving. Yeah, where are you going? That was I don't a funny know. sounding Japanese pocket watch. It, oh, what? sorry. 
There's a bird. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a bird. Yeah. Odd bird sounds uh, around do here. Do you want to hear my uh my Do you want to hear my my spiel my uh my creed my oath? Sure. Go ahead. You are not. To totally didn't no. steal it. Mm -hmm. I've seen it's, every one of you with horses and wagons, and I can protest that I'm probably the best. You are probably the best, I'm probably the worst. Between... Oh, wait, hang on. Don't worry, it's the wrong one. <laughs> oh my god. What That's the fuck silly. are you talking about? I am not a good wagon person. Not you. Oh my god, there's a wagon flying. Do you, do you want me to drive the wagon, Mamie? You can take Sharice if you want. Do you, do you want one of us to drive? Oh shit. My voice. Ow. Ow. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm back. I could arrest you there with is. my jurisdiction. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Mr. Cartman. Right. Cartman, get in the cart. Cartman. Oh. <laughs> Cartman. I will hit you. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh shit. Whoa. Hi. Don't you fucking dare. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just scared you. Get back on Andy's horse. He's extra spicy mood today. <laughs> mm. He's been rolling around in the mud with us all morning. <laughs> what are you talking about? Alright. Uh, no. We Did cannot someone... cross here. Yeah, we can. Look at the size of the bridge. Not on the wagon, he can't. See ya! <laughs> yeah, that's a bit, uh, slim. Where else can we cross? Oh. We can cross at. There should be a way down from there. It should be over here. Behind us. Alright. Mommy, can you move? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it, alright? Just gonna pick some peppers real quick. Gonna pick some peppers. Grizzly you can Andy still make, some peppers. make goulash around here, right? Yep. I better need sort of some, you know, better sustenance. All right, all right, I'll help you. Hang on. Well, now, did somebody bother to bring a campfire to actually cook the shit on? No. Well, that's going to be a problem, then. You can have I'm all the gonna... ingredients you want, I'm but if you don't have somewhere to cook it... I'm going to sit and drink whiskey. Well, okay. All right, that's probably fine. Andy, do you have a campfire stuff? Um, 
A pot? Mm, not on me. Well, we ain't gonna be able to cook goulash when we's out then. No, we'll cook goulash when we get back. All right. You don't want it? Okay. What? I offered you a whiskey. I don't say that, but I don't care. What are we going to do? Hunt. Oh, nope. sorry. Morning. Nice day for fishing, isn't it? <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, shit. Yep. Wagon in a heartbeat. Wow. Well, all right. Wow. Somebody. Uh, now we got a problem. Careful you don't drown Buck. I ain't gonna drown Buck. He's right here. Well, now he's what? He's still alive. He's al of course he is. No, he's not, because somebody's still running up to us to tell him. What? Oh, no. You knocked <laughs> Buck out. How could I possibly have knocked him out? I did not Drown him. Out. Maybe he didn't eat. I don't know. No. You, no, they, you weren't. You drowned you... as soon as they hit the water. I'm sorry. Well, we need another horse anyway. Is anyone. Yes. Is anyone. Uh, yeah. Wait, what are you doing? I thought she was about to get her up. Get... What? <sighs> I didn't know Shatonics. Oh, never mind. I don't have them. Shit. <laughs> I thought I did. All right. Well, it was my fucking fault. Put him on the back of my yeah. horse. I'll go take care of it. Okay? Christ, man. It was not... I didn't know that could even happen. Um... Ah, for God's sake. We're not that far from Valentine still, so... I mean For fuck's sakes. Woody, come on, what? man. I'm fine. Fuck off. Where's he going? Good question. Is he gonna go catch the cart? Or is he going back to Valentine? Is he just taking the stream back to Valentine? Is that what he's doing? I, I, I don't know. I feel like that's the thing that Ware would do. <laughs> I think that's what he's doing. Didn't he say he'd meet us somewhere? I don't know. Valentine. Because, you know, organizing and actually deciding what you're going to do before you just jump in and do it is like, you know. He's going to Valentine, he said it. All right. Well, back we go then, I guess. You gonna get on yeah. the horse? Well, actually, I was thinking about just drowning myself, if that would make you feel All a little right, bit better, that's a it. little less Fuck grumpy. Off. I'm, All right. I'm done for today. Why is he so angry today? I don't know. He was fine earlier. I know. I don't understand either.
So, yeah, yeah. I uh, sort of drowned Buck on the back of the horse because I didn't realize that could happen. So I think they're trying. He's right over there by Andy. If you can help them out. I'm just going to sit here on the rock and. Uh... I got Woody's horse. Told me that somebody had fell down. That's going to be Buck, right? Yeah. Here, I'll. Uh... Ah! There you go. Where did Is Mamie go? Yeah, that's Mamie's car. Um, she's on the rock in the middle of the water over there. What? Where? Oh. Do not see her. There he goes. Mamie? Yeah, what? Wait, where are you? I'm on the rock in the middle of the fucking river. Under the water? I know, I'm on the rock, sitting on it. You don't see me? No. You're in the water for me. Oh, you were. I got Woody's horse for you. Yeah, well, I don't quite... Why am I doing this? What? Obvious. I messed up. I gotta get off the horse, because right now I'm giving you the world's biggest massage, so... Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, there's a I'm horse sorry, right I there for I you. Didn't, I didn't fucking know that could happen. I really didn't. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. I don't want to get on the fucking horse. Fuck this day. Why? Why does it have to be like that, huh? I why? don't understand what happened. I really don't understand what just happened. Woody got a right and it spread to everyone else. That's what happened. Alright. He, he gets that way sometimes. It's just I don't know if it was... Because we were taking so long, all that. It could be a number of things. Well, it seems like he got mad because I accidentally drowned Buck. I didn't mean to do it. I really didn't. I didn't know. All right. And repackaged. All right. Thank you, Gemma. You're welcome. My horse is being stupid, though. He's literally going around the entire mountain to try to get down here. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there now, coming around the path. Oh, He's there he is. Odd. He's coming down. Where is he? He's coming, there he is. There he is. Alright, just... Something was clearly bothering him, I just... Could, could have been a number of things. Yeah, but was it me? Because it seemed to start after I accidentally drowned Buck. No, it was before that. I could feel it. All right. What, are you taking out? Maybe he doesn't like Waya. Who knows? Yeah. All right, which way are we going? Maybe it's because we were taking too long. Yeah, well... Fuck it, where are we going? Are we supposed to meet Waya back in? I'm not sure what oh, Waya was doing. I wish he would have talked a little bit before he jumped in the water. I'm not quite sure what he what he's doing. Is he going to come back up this way, or is he just going to be in Valentine? I don't know. I can try to find out, but I can go back if you well, want. Well, he also knows where we're going you yeah. know, to a certain extent, so at least I hope he would. Yeah, not in any real hurry. Where is Buck, anyway? On the back of your horse. Well, yeah, but I mean, he's in oh, his head. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, well, lesson number one, don't cross a river with someone hogtied on the back of your horse. I didn't know that either, to be honest. No, I didn't either. Hmm.
Oh, hey. Chen, How, how's it going? Sorry. Yes, long time no see. I don't know how long ago it was that you were in here, but sorry. Don't have my chat on. So a deputy, a mayor, and a doctor walk into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need a priest and a rabbi to come with us. Yeah, I, I feel that too. <laughs> I don't think there's been any rabbis anywhere, ever. No, there really hasn't. There's been some reverend. I, I don't think I've ever met any. Couple of Jewish people, but no rabbis. Yeah, the queue is crazy. Right I mean, now. honestly, there's been a few priests here and there, but none really priest like, really. What happened to that one guy who used to do sermons in Valentine? Ben? Pre uh, preacher Ben. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he just realized how sinful Valentine is and just ran away. Yeah. That was such a depressed yap. What? That sounded like such a depressed yap. About what? Oh. For you ladies. Oh, whoops. Shit, what's going on? Sorry. Wild. Anywhere near us? No, over by Ansberg. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, are those cult people at it again? Maybe. Yeah. I hear an elk. You wanna go get an elk? Get it. You gonna kill an elk? I hear an elk. I hear it too. Yeah.
They disappeared on me. This is a nice little spot. Where are we going down to the lake or where are we going? Joe, we didn't like. Is that a. Oh, that's your horse. I thought that was a bear behind us at first. That's a rock. <laughs> yeah, but I tried to pretend it was your horse moving that I saw and not the rock, so I didn't look really stupid thinking a rock was a bear. But thank <laughs> you for calling me out for that. <laughs> I only say that because I thought it was too. There's another elk over there. Oh, there he is. It's foggy as hell for me, though. What is that sound? Is that the ice? Go ten feet and the elk just disappears. I hit him like seven times and he just kept running. She hits him once and knocks him down. <laughs> Who? so abrupt when their little souls leave their bodies. <sighs> One of my um, good friends, uh, he was uh, Cherokee, told me that if uh, it comes upon the occasion that you haven't quite killed a animal when you've been hunting it, 
uh, that you should um, make sure he's comfortable and look into his eyes before he dies so he's not alone. Because hmm. no one ever wants to be alone when they die. No, that is the truth. And you know, say thank you and all that. I don't know, just Apollo only just told me make sure you cut its throat so he didn't suffer. Mm. Well, he definitely wasn't native. Mm. Well, where do we want to set up a camp at? Because the wolves are going to be coming pretty soon. We probably need to not be wandering around in the dark. Mm. Don't rock. Aren't camps bad for you, maybe? Um, well, yeah. I mean, you can at least, uh... Yeah, I forgot about the camp. Fuck. Oh, there's a cabin. Well, we got lights. We can, uh... Oh. I got lamps with me, I think. What is that sound? It's it's the ice, the ice I believe. Cracking. The rumbling? Like gra the rumbling yeah, is the ice, rumbles, yeah. It's yeah. the ice. Shall we just sit up here by this cabin? Not I don't have a lamp. I think I gave it away to you, actually. Yeah, I got a lamp. Ooh, getting dark it's getting real dark. Oh, there's a couple rocks here if we need them. Good enough place, I suppose. It's locked, though. Not it's very flat. Out. Well, it's locked, but huh? Yeah, like somebody must own it. Hmm. Yeah, this is nice and this is nice and flat over here, I guess. Let me just uh, hitch up the horse somewhere. You want to take Buck off the back? Yeah. Hello. Hey. Look that at that. poor man just wandering around on the ice. Yeah. Do you want me to make like a little snow hole for Buck? <laughs> I just don't want to get too cold. I guess he can make his own snow hole. That's that's pretty good size snow hole. Yeah, he kind of did. Might might drown in the snow though. Can you do that? I don't know. I guess you could. Well, if anybody could fucking do it, I could probably make it happen. I'm sure I've managed to do everything else. <laughs> oh my goodness! Shall we cut him free or just make him lay there? Nah, you should probably cut. Him. Yeah, kind of free for now. Yeah, just in case something happens. This looks real suspicious out here, isn't it? <laughs> Not at all. Do you want me to try to make a camp? Or I not mean, risk it because here. there's apparently well, quite a queue. There is a big train. <laughs> oh, that's, I should have just prepared fuck. and brought He's the regular inside. campfire. Because if we could have done that, that would have been fine. That doesn't make my head pop. But the big fires make my head fucking pop all over the place. Yeah. I wish I had a... I should have brought one. Oh, well. I'll just have my lamp. That's fine. You don't really need it. We can just sit here in the dark. 
right. Tell tell spooky stories. Yeah, it ain't that dark. The moon is full. It's no, beautiful. I was gonna say the moon is out, so it's really not that bad. Just stand here and stare oh, about. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all, we'll all stare at him and wait till he wakes up. He'll be like, "What the hell? Do I got something in my teeth?" You think any others are gonna are you gonna, are gonna make it back out here? I don't know. I don't know. Or you think think they're gonna be sore because we left them? <laughs> well, I mean, we didn't leave them. Like where? Yeah, where did Woody go? Did he? Well, go Woody, Woody left. Left. Woody, Woody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know what exactly happened, but maybe there will be explanations later, I don't know. I can speculate, but, uh, you know. Oh, he's a grumpy gills by nature, so it's always hard to be sure. It's quite a train, apparently, so even if he wanted to come back, I'm not sure he'd be able to. Yeah, I heard the train's crazy. Where I don't know, um... How many Speak people? Little maniac can't hear you. Chen. Sorry. Uh, no, sorry. I was I, I was whispering because I'm, you know, it's inappropriate because I if I'm in town I scream and I'm oh, out in the middle of the fucking snow I just whisper. So I want to make sure that somebody can yell at me about my voice all the time, no matter where I'm at. See. Mm. I got yelled at my voice yesterday and I was on a three. So. Yeah, they're so used to yell at me yelling that every time they hear me talk, they just say, Mamie, you're yelling, even if I'm not, so. <laughs> buck. Buck. Oh, buck. 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 Mr. Grayson, your table is ready. What if he woke up and we're all like... Laying That's here. what I said. We we should totally tell him that he said that he was going to do a strip tease for us before he passed out, and we're just waiting for him to start. Yeah, yeah. I got bills. I could make it rain. Yeah. Or better yet, what if he woke up and we we're all unconscious laying on the ground? It's <laughs> just like flopping. Oh around. gosh. <laughs> Knowing our luck, though, he'd probably go hungry and like knock himself out too, and then we'd all be laying up here in the snow. We could, yeah, oh, yeah, ride around. Yeah, like there we go. Poison. Yeah. Hi. Oh, whoa. <laughs> a tangle of arms and legs now. Yeah. Come on, Gemma. We're just clearing some space. Oh. Yeah. Well, she's over there, though. Yeah. We, I am. Gemma. We gotta go over there. Yeah, sweating. let's go over there. You guys are over there. I should probably go over there. Not to mention, I'm gonna. We're gonna we're gonna roll off the hill here. I'm gonna fall off the rock on this side. We'll all fall down together because that's the way Oop, we do things. Right? Oh, you pushed! Oh, <laughs> you pushed her. <laughs> good, good. It's like a little snow slide. <laughs> well, that's what I'm I like. We're pushing. Doing. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. yeah. Come on down. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. Uh... I'm ass over elbows right now. <laughs> oh, Let down. me join you. Ah, uh, here I come. We uh, uh, here I am. Now oh, we just need both oh. to wake up. <laughs> gonna wake up. We're just gonna flop around like this for an hour. We snow angels. We're just making snow angels. Three men, snow angels. Yeah. Centipedes. This is infinitely more fun than being in a jail cell alone. Uh, isn't it though? Did I hear a horse? Horse? No. I did not hear a horse. Might be a loop. What was that noise? You know, just really into uh, the I'm really, uh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm a little paranoid. A little bit. It's all right. We're just being possessed. It's fine. Trail down the hill for you guys. Oh, thank you for clearing the way there with your head. Absolutely. I'm gonna, yeah, make a nice pass. So we can We're just gonna up. slowly go down. <laughs> just slowly, just make our way in a tum tumble of arms and legs. 
There we go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just a little further. Ooh, I'm, I'm in a nice little sandwich here. I'm all right. I'm going to have to explain to everybody why three of us couldn't take out one wolf. And we'll have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were, we were kind of rolling around in the snow. Oh, hi. Kinda Am I your pillow on. now? Is this yeah, this is? Okay. Pillow. Yep. The buck's going to be <laughs> eaten oh, by yep. wolves. I'm still blazing the trail here. Yep, blaze, blaze it. Stops me. Blaze it, Gemma. We're coming We're right behind you. We got your back. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you got her back. I know somebody's got something. Well, Mamie's just pushing me downhill, so that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, blame it all on me. It's all ah, there we go. Ball. Thank it's you. It's always got to be Mamie, to do, doesn't like, it? like a head over, ass over tea kettle thing, and that's why I'm going further because I'm like, <laughs> you're just, your ass is in the air, and you're just. Yeah, no, you're just like. You look like you're on all fours. You're just scraping the face. <laughs> And Mamie's just here. I'm I'm just rolling like yeah, sideways, and rolling. and Mamie's yeah, just yeah, trying to use me as a pillow. I'm just kick you in the butt there. There you go. Oh. Just a little further. Everybody needs a pillow. Every, well, there's plenty of snow for that. Yeah, that's true. Very cold pillow. Oh. All right, a little further. There we go. You look like uh -oh. you're just literally just crawling, and right. just rubbing that's your face. Cool. In this I thing. block out of the way. Okay, there we oh, go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's I'm just making cool. it nice and wide. That's what I'm doing. I'm I'm doing the width. <laughs> That's what I'm, doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing at this point. My face is in the snow. Now I'm just face first. I don't know. This is what they did before they invented like things like, you know, carriages with snow plow oh. things on. Oh hey. Oh, oh hey, hey. Oh, hey. Uh oh. There you get go. There. That's a little oh, there. oh, hey, you're trying to pass me up to get to Gemma. Let's not. You're going to put your head up her ass. Let's just not. I'm just going to kick you both. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to kick you in the face. JJ, so we're good. Is that a wolf running up on us? Or what is that? That's a deer running away. All right. all right. I'm sorry. I don't see that well, okay? I'm just telling you, I don't see that one. Oh, Gemma's, Gemma's gone. Oh, Gemma's got Regina's really motoring now. Yeah. <laughs> She's going. You're going to pass me up. Block out of the way and it kind of took Maybe don't leave me. You have to push no. me. I'm, you're, what? <laughs> you're no, my I'm locomotion trying, right now. What am I doing? I don't know what you're I'm just doing. Just you're just wiggle worm. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, Let oh, me just push oh, you with my boot oh, in your face. There you oh. go. The race is on. Whoever gets, whoever gets to the whoever Gemma's wet. Gemma's all the way down there. Okay, Gemma's winning at a, like a, like so hard right now. Ow! Competitive bitch. Ow! Something hurt. Oh oh! And I fucking hate snow too. It's pretty ironic. Why? Why did? Why did something hurt? That's what I'm curious about. And how'd you get over there all of a sudden? I don't know. Did you kick me? I didn't touch you. Oh, now I'm just face down. <laughs> I'm just face down now. Oh, here we go. Roll. Uh, we're coming in last. Like Roll. Oh, I'm rolling. Oh, I'm catching oh, up to Gemma. You guys. Gemma, what the fuck? I'm catching up to Gemma. I, the hill is here. I come. Over. I'm doing the barrel roll technique. I'm coming. Oh, she's on her way now. I I'm on my oh, way. Yeah. Okay, now I'm, I'm, now I'm, picking I'm up. coming. Picking up. You coming down? We, we're clearing the way for you. It's all right. Yeah, once you hit that. Hill, I get the width. Ah. Really uh, here we go. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Gemma. Here I come. God, just let me fast. roll. Yeah, she is going fast. I'm just fuck? at I'm the just sideways. It's the sideways, you, you know. And I'm clearing a real yeah. thick path. Now, I'm like end over end, so. Oh, shit. I'm turning around. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna pass Gemma yeah, up. Hold yeah. on. Ooh, that was a slide. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, I'm in first. My legs God, out. No, my legs no, out front. Now I'm just last. sticking my ass in the air. Has got to be last. My ass is in the air though. <laughs> All right. Okay. Who's gonna get to the bottom of this hill first? Do you think? Me. Hey. Hey. Ow. Ow. <gasps> oh shit. Um. Help. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, 
Well, I made it. What happened? <laughs> I can't even tell you what just happened to me. Your kick threw me into another realm. I like I kicked you and then you disappeared. Yeah, you like, kicked oh me God. into another realm and I appeared over there. At the bottom, so I guess I win. Wait, hold on. Let me just let me just Did and you I'm actually still make in, it to the bottom? I'm still in or the were same you like across spot. Well, okay, I wasn't quite at the bottom. I am totally not moving. It's just taking my fucking okay. time. Uh, here we go. <laughs> See, but you know what my strategy has always been in life? I look Slow like I'm steady. taking up I look like I'm taking up the rear, but at the last minute I like do a burst across the start the, the finish line. I'll kick all y'all's asses. Here I come now. Here comes the burst. Watch. Right. Andy's too far away to kick again, so I think I'm yeah. Don't I'm kick me again. I just don't want to do that again. I'm winning now. Come on, Andy's roll. My roll. Wiggle worm. There we go. There we go. Oh, here we go. Ah. Oh. I got a little further. I'm I'm leaving you in the dust. Ugh. Oh, here I come. Roll. Roll. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. What was that? What was that? I'm so fucking paranoid. <laughs> You're really. I'm rolling. Really Hold on. Let me just. Strange noises. Okay. Uh... Like the sound of three ladies moaning launch, on a hill. I'm gonna launch you into the nether regions. Maybe if you kick me, I'll end up where Andy was. Ah, oh, here we go. Andy's We're rolling. Whoa. We're rolling. Yeah. I'm Come on, roll. Yeah, I, I, this I sideways thing is really working for me. Sideways, and that kind of took care of my momentum. Yeah, right I'm now. trying to go sideways, but your ass is in the way. <laughs> You don't want to see my <laughs> angle of this, because it looks like I'm having a really good time right now. It looks like you're going to do that. I'm having a really good time. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Yeah, well. Oh, oh no. Oh no. It's happened again. Gemma, did you kick me? No. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. How do you keep doing that? I don't is know. Is no. it the same place? No. It's a different place. Is something moving you? or are you? I'm or just falling just... through the snow. Okay. How, though? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. None of us are. <laughs> I don't know. It's just happening. Should I start w up with you guys? Start where I was. No, you oh. can start where you were. Start where you were. No, oh, okay. By all means, don't come back here with us, slackers. Ugh. Oh, I'm moving. <laughs> I'm moving. Shit. Come on. Roll. And roll. Oh, come I on. I got some momentum back now. Roll. Roll. Come on, roll. Oof. They're catching up slowly. Gotta roll. Come on, get over this. Get over it. I'm stuck again. Damn it. I'm yeah, stuck too. Come on. Oh, come on. Roll. Oh. Ow. Oh, well, oh that hurt. Now. What? <laughs> what is hurting me? You, there's something Andy, hurting me. I, I I was gonna say I think that whatever's happening to you is not about this. Hold on. You shouldn't be getting hurt. Are you? Have you eaten? Drank? Yeah. All that yeah, I'm full. I'm I'm fine on those. Is it because I'm cold? What is it? What's your temperature? Negative four. Do you have an extra thing to drink? Yeah, I do. I don't know. It's weird. Huh. I got hurt up there, too, before it happened. Yeah. I don't know. It's just me, I think. Oh. Uh, Alright. Or the demon. Let's see if Buck is... You weren't supposed to use the D word. Sorry. The... 
spirit. The, yeah. Entity. The imaginary friend. You all right, Mamie? Yeah. Well, I think I won, regardless. This is nice to walk up now. I got a nice little path. Buck's still standing there? Yeah. I was gonna okay. say, yeah. Well, we didn't kill him, so that's good. He's gonna start getting hungry at some point. I mean, yeah, that, that's the only Okay, problem. ready? Ready? Like Watch this. Let me get a running start. Here we go. Here we go. Check. Watch this beautiful jump. We got one, two. Uh... Push her off. No, I didn't. Her? No, no, Who she jumped her? off. Oh, it yeah, sounded like somebody shoved her. Oh, okay. No, she jumped. <laughs> it just was a lot further once I was in the air than it was like, oh, God. Apparently, oh, no. You got. got... What? Somebody. What I heard somebody fall from the sky. Local. That was coming. local. He's up on. Uh... Oh, he's down there. Where? He's, he's down past my horse. He's coming. Oh, I see. He's running away, actually. He's actually <laughs> running the wrong way. They're all running the wrong way. What in the hell? Well, I guess I don't have to worry about it then if he ain't gonna come tell me. Oh, here they come. They're coming back. They wanted to go on the ice and come back around. That's the problem, see? Oh, baby! Out. Oh. oh god. <laughs> well, you're gonna get a couple for her, too. Oh, here the other ones come. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you, sorry. Alrighty there. Uncocked. Miscal miscalculated. Oh my god, Val? did you really, Chen? Yeah. <laughs> that was a little higher than I thought it was. I don't, apparently, yeah. Like, I really thought you had that one until you I landed, like, bump in the bottom there. I... <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, that didn't go well. Why? Thank no, you, Jim. it never does. You know? <laughs> but no risk, no reward. Is that okay. yours? Is that yours, too? No, no, he's just running around. I don't know when he's going. I don't know. Uh... Oh, that's yeah. Oh, he's his. going to. That's Bucks, yeah. Yeah. Well, what do y'all want to do? Should we? You want to head back to Valentine, or just? I guess. I mean, I don't know what the point is being out yeah, here. Yeah, I don't either. With everybody being in their fucking heads, but yeah, let me get him and rope well, him it's up. Just fuck. I mean, we did have a nice roll. <laughs> we did have a nice roll, definitely. Yes. Definitely didn't do much hunting though. <laughs> and Way is probably going to be sore at us. Well, he knew where we were. It's not that hard to find us. We well, said we were coming to. And, uh, I'm sorry, but he kind of leaped into the water and didn't really, you know, it wasn't really very well planned, you know? Ow! Oh. What the fuck? Buck? Where's Buck? Uh, Buck? he Buck? just, uh, Buck? disappeared. Oh, he probably did the same thing that I did, and he's probably falling, and he'll appear where, where, right where over here. He? What the? There he is. <laughs> That's exactly where I was. That is too funny. It, it's always right here. I don't know why. Somewhere over there. You can have him. Biscuit and his rear end, thank because you. Because naturally it would have to be Woody's horse who kicked me in the face. <laughs> yes. Okay, so did you get him? Yeah. All yeah, right. I got him. Who's that? There's Wea, right there. Wea, is that you? Wea? 
Hello. That's not where. That's not where. How do you do? Hello. Hi. Howdy. Uh, are you all hunting up here? Or what are you doing up here? Yeah, we were. We are just about to head back, though. Oh, I see. Alright. Uh, what's your name? God, I'm sorry, mate. I'll be game a second. Yeah, hello. I was in my head, sorry. Do you guys live up here, or are you...? No, no. Oh, we're just out enjoying this, the, the, the... The snow the and the sunshine. Here. What's your name? Uh, it's Jason Redwood. Oh, well, nice to meet you. You out hunting, or you live up here? I'm waiting for a friend at the, uh... Oh, what's it called? The snow village, I guess. Oh, Alter? yeah. Uh, or Kodiak, or what are they calling that thing? Yeah, well, I don't yeah, know what they call it, but I know what he's, I know what he's talking about. Yeah, I'm heading up there. Alright, All right. well, travel safe then. The same to you, stay nice safe. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, the Washingtons hang out up there. Actually, that's probably our best bet to find that Mr. Bones, you know. Oh, do you want to go up there? Might not be a bad idea, actually, if they're right. there. You know, if, if Marley's there, I can ask her about Lead it. Lead the way. I was going to yeah. say, do you think he's going to feel like we're encroaching on his shit, though? I don't know. Sorry, uh, don't mean to bother you again, but, um, uh, is that the same place that the Washingtons, uh, hang out at? I mean, I've seen them there, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'm sure if they're there now, but... Would you mind if we, uh, came with you? I mean, it's not my place. Go ahead. Damn, that's a long ass game. <laughs> Drop from the sky. Is this it? No. Yes. Yes, I think. Yeah, that's it. It's it. Yeah, this is it.
Cozy little place. Yeah. Dead wolves. Ah. Yeah. I don't know who you're looking for, but Is Buck back yet? Oh, it's been in his head oh. an awful long time. Crap, horse. What are you doing? Buck. He's gonna start starving. See, now I would have tossed him near the fire, personally, but... Okay, fine. I'll put him on the fire. Sure. Yeah, you can put him on, like, the wood pile over there. Maybe he'll be warm. I don't know what he's He may doing. still starve, but he won't freeze to death. Ooh, you can go in here. Apparently, you can go inside. Very small, but you can go in. Nice little place, though, if a little inhospitable <laughs> and cold. Yeah, I think this is uh, uh, the kind of place where the lodge was that the, you know, the bad boys did bad things. Uh, their their quote unquote hunting lodge or whatever. Where'd Mammy get off to? Uh, I think she's probably looking around for people. Mm. She wanted to see if Barley is it. Any luck? Oh, okay. Nah. No? Nobody? No. I swore I heard somebody, like, you know, like hungry stomach somebody, male type, but... It might be Buck. <laughs> He's a oh. Buck. Oh, is he not awake yet? No. Nope. I don't know who Mr. Jason's waiting for, but... Cigarette time. Yeah. Oh shit! No, no, I don't want my feet in the fire. That should be fine. Hey, uh, Mr. Away. Jason. We're just gonna probably be in our heads for a second, Mr. Jason. Uh, right. Just so you know. Hooray! We got in. Woo. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I 
I'm just gonna step away for a little break. It's funny, I'm surrounded by snow and spiritually I'm like Put sweating to death. <laughs> Bring me up north and I'll dream about the tropics. Yeah. I like the snow. I always have. When I was younger, I used to ski. And then I kind of liked the snow, even though I hated the cold. Like, if it snowed in summer, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I'm so glad you're all right, Jamo. I really am. I'm sorry about all that. I'm sorry that it stressed you out so bad. I, I just didn't want anything to happen to you because I didn't want to have to do the things I was going to have to do if they tried to harm you. That's everything just going through my head of what I was going to do if they did something to you. I'd have fucking gunned that whole place down before I'd let them take you away if that had been the case. I'm just glad it didn't turn out that way after all, you know? Yeah, me too. I got a little nervous there in the middle. I won't lie. Yeah. Especially since they had offered me a plea de deal before all that. Um, yeah, to that's, just be that's guilty what's... to the yeah. aggravated assault and they dropped the attempted murder. And I was like, ooh, do I just take that yeah. and go with it? Or do I say, fuck it, I don't get any of it? And then, yeah, like, you know, I talked to Doherty and said, you know what? Let's just fucking do it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you did it. I still don't believe you deserve the charges at all. But, I mean, we're still breathing and we're still going. So, if you're not behind bars anymore. You're not executed. <laughs> and I didn't have no, to fucking like gun I down said, a whole courtroom full of people. So, I guess bit. we're all right. I learned quite a bit up at the the fort, um, you know, hanging around with five marshals or whatever. So. Yeah, well, what kind of stuff? What do you mean you learn stuff? Um, I learned a little bit about, number one, who they are and who they're not. Um, you know, which ones seem to kind of have a chip on their shoulder about me just by the way they reacted to my presence. And which ones um, didn't have an issue with my presence. You know, so I took little mental who, notes. Who were the ones that had an issue with your presence? I don't think your friend Mr. Blackstone was real happy to see me. Mr. Blackstone? Which one was he? What do you mean, Mr. Blackstone? Henry, Henry Blackstone? Is that his name? Henry Black? Henry Blackstone? Henry Blackstone. You talking about Marshall Henry? The Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, he didn't seem real thrilled to see me, but... Who else? Um, Cox was very polite, um, but he always is. Um, Stubbs works with them a little bit, even though he's not really a marshal. So that was kind of good to know. Um, and Valdez is very interesting. Yeah. I lost a little bit of trust in him yesterday though I'm going to have a hard time getting back I always liked him until yesterday when he pulled that shit I mean I understand why he did it but the fact that he let me sit there for two hours with no word from you not knowing where you were I don't know yeah, I agree that, 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 and I somebody really could have told me after that, um, because he uh, I mean he made it very clear when we were talking alone while we waited for the other ones to come when he had first taken me it, probably we were alone for I don't know, maybe a good half hour, 45 minutes before anyone else showed up. Um, I mean, he explained a lot of that to me 
as, as to the whys and all that kind of stuff, but I agree with you because, you know, if he had just done it, I understand the by whys, the book, but it they should have sent fine. me a fucking telegram or something to let me know that you were all right. Instead, I sat there for two hours not knowing where the fuck you were. That's what bothers me. But it's neither here nor there. That... It's all fucking gone and over with. But what else did you learn? Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I kind of learned a little bit of their opinions of the justice system versus the criminals and things like that. Um, I learned that Valdez Jr. is not his actual son. That he's not related to him at all. How's it going? Hmm? How's it going? Yeah, um, I, I, I mean, mean it's a bit really fucking cold up here. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Otherwise, it's really uh, all good. I knew about him was that that particular. Sure, a friend on the train. Yeah, he's on the train. Yeah, the train's been crazy today, apparently. Yeah, I think he's he has the ticket ten or something. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah, I mean it's definitely a good way to meet all. <sighs> Might be a while then. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys waiting for, no, anyways? Oh, we just took a little trip and we're just relaxing, sort of. You're free to come over and talk though, if you want. <sighs> Why not? I'll join you. Yeah. Yeah, I saw Holt Washington when I was in the saloon get my coffee. Um, you know, he was super nice, and you know, do you need anything? Can I help you with anything and stuff like that? Hello. Hello. Wait, who's this? Who's who? Uh, oh, I, I think uh, we're... Oh, yeah, that's Buck. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, that's yeah, Buck. He's... Buck Grayson, Dr. Buck. Thinking Why was he really hard. on your horse? Because he was, in his, he was head. thinking really hard. Yeah, I got a sh paranoid. Yeah. Sorry. No. Oh, Didn't quite realize that. Oh, come on now. Do we look dangerous to you? <laughs> I mean, that rifle on your back... Uh, he did. I was wondering why he seemed a little like, you know, what oh, are you guys there you doing go. Does that make you feel better? Him? No, I mean, I don't really care, but I mean, he was hugged on, he was hugged for a land on your horse, so I was like, uh, uh yeah, I mean, nah, that's understandable. Uh, I honestly didn't even think about that. That's how yeah. we take him for walks. <laughs> oh, I see. Would you like to go for a walk? Oh uh, my god. <laughs> oh my god. I really do that. like how you said that at all. I'd be like scared. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm Andy. I'm Mamie. I'm Gemma. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Likewise. And you have a fire, so now you're my friend. <laughs> you do anything particular around the parts? Uh, I mean, around here, it's... Just, like, just anywhere, really. Uh, I mean, I usually go farm. I guess that's it. But right now, I'm just waiting for my friend. He's on the train. Sadly. Yeah. Mamie is emphatically anti-farming. I am amp I am because it makes me fall asleep, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I understand. So, hey, you haven't seen anybody up here, like, by the name of Mr. Bone, have you? Mm, is he a Washington? Uh, he might be hanging out with him. Uh, he's kind of a, a eclectic mountain man looking feller that keeps really hard to himself I mean I've seen loads of people by the uh what's it called the Adler's residence where's that at it's the uh the house up ahead on the road is there a house up ahead on the road yeah it's a lonely house huh a lonely house. 
They might be there, might not. I'm not sure. All right. Uh, so straight this way. Wait. Let me take a look. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So just follow this road here, straight ahead. Yeah. Past the wagons, and there's a. Ha okay. I'll go take a look. So, uh, what do you guys do for a living? Well, I am a doctor. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a deputy. Oh, lawman. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Mamie's the mayor of Valentine. <laughs> oh, the mayor? Oh. Mm hmm Trying to get her out of, uh, marrying for a little bit, though. Out of, out of town and, yeah, out of business mind. Yeah, it seems stressful. Oh yeah, she's very busy, normally. I mean, how's it, um, isn't it stressful being a lawman around these parts? Yeah, can be. There's a lot of shady people. Yeah, but that's why I'm here, I guess. I heard a name, Baldus. Who's that? Is he a marshal or something? Baldus. Baldus. Oh, the bones guy. No, the Baldus. Baldus, whatever it is. Vald. Oh, Valdez. Oh, he's okay. a marshal. Yeah, he's a marshal. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's he he might have be a, a son? bounty hunter too. Um, yeah, but it's not really his son. That was what we were talking about, was that I was talking to him last night, and the guy just said he was his son to get his attention or some shit. So who is he? Like... He's just some criminal who wants to get under Valdez's skin, I guess. Uh... But Valdez said that it, in order for the guy to be his son, he would have had to have fathered him when he was, like, seven. <laughs> So I'm guessing that he's not really his kid. I don't think so. I mean, if he's a criminal and his father's a fucking marshal, I... Uh, yeah, I no, that. I think he does that so he can, you know, sound like he's getting one over on Valdez. Because I think yeah. he's got, a, like, a bug up his ass about him. His name is Valdez Jr., right? Yeah, I mean, it's I not his so, name, or at least, but... yeah, I think that's what he goes by or something. But I think he's in that, what, what is it, a few good men group or something like yeah, that. A few good men. I think they robbed me yesterday, actually. <laughs> up in Rhodes. I was gonna say, yeah, maybe up that way, yeah, because I think that's where, uh, they generally spend their time, although I heard they were in Valentine last night. Yeah, I think they're hiding right now. I'm not sure they're a confusing group. Well, and that was what Valdez basically said, is that, you know, Valdez Jr. is all big and mighty when Valdez is sleeping, but as soon as Valdez wakes up, Valdez Jr. goes back into hiding. And then he comes back out, you know, kills a bunch of locals and screams how badass he is and then goes back to hiding again. <laughs> How old is this guy? <laughs> well, I mean, I think the the Valdez Jr. guy is like 18, because he said, like I said, that uh. he would have to have been like seven to be his father or something like that, so. Yeah. So that means Valdez, like, what, 26 or 27? Yeah. Yeah. All I know is he robbed me yesterday, but... Did you uh, put any reports or anything in for that? Was it in the Valentine area, or was it somewhere else? It was... Uh, what's it called? Near Blackwater? Like oh. around the Strawberry area? Oh, okay. Well, I did not find a lonely house, but I did find a pack of wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least you survived. Oh, wow, yeah. lucky you. What do you mean, lucky me? 
Maybe you found a pack of wolves. Yeah. Some food. I'm sure they just wanted to cuddle. <laughs> yeah. There's no uh, place to leave this stuff, is there? No, not unless you got a pot in your pocket. Shit. Notice the perfect quality of this wolf pelt. <laughs> yes, it is lovely. You should like hang It'll it. Make on a nice wall. rug. I never understood bear rugs. Bear fur is so well, apparently, fucking hokey. Apparently, I cannot sit down. I'll just set this right here for now. There you go. I'll move the corpse. I'm. I apologize for leaving this sitting right here like that. It was very rude. That's nice, though. Maybe that's gonna be more wolves. Kind of like a fire and snow. It's not too bad. I'm never gonna find this fucking Mr. Bonefell, I swear to God. What does he look like again? Um, he, he, he looks like a big old burly mountain man. He's got real tattered, kind of almost native looking clothes on that are in like a mossy green color. A wolf wears, a, wears a bow on his back. I'm not sure if he, I, I believe he does, yes. Yeah, I've seen him. He's, I mean, he's usually in Valentine or Blackwater. Blackwater? Uh, yeah. Huh. That's what, I mean, I'm only thinking of one person, and he's like the only one that fucking speaks like a mountain man. Hmm. I've never so, met like, him. Valentine. I met him a couple times. Is he, is he sleeping? Or? I, d I have no idea. Uh, I've been trying to find him for days. That, that's the, the real question. Uh, I just have some real important questions to ask him. All right. So he apparently has the answers I need, but I gotta find the motherfucker to get him, so. <laughs> sure, he'll turn up at some point. Yeah, I'm sure he will too. Oh. What's the lawman here again? It's me. Yeah. There's a. Uh, there's a lot of corrupt uh, marshals and lawmen in, in general, in my opinion. Yeah, I've I've heard a little bit. Um. It's um. Not the best time in the world for law, but. I'm just doing my best out here, I guess. Does Mr. Baldus have a bounty? Okay, I mean, Baldus Jr. Uh, he, I believe they caught I think him. He got, well, they did, but then he got away or something. So yeah, I heard he got away. <laughs> oh, really? Fucking firing squad. Yeah, somehow he managed to escape. I, I heard he was in Valentine last night, actually, while we were in San Denis. Yeah, he did. He did show up. He he walked right into the doc's office, and every, and I didn't realize who it was until after he walked out. And, Val, and, and uh, one of the marshals came in and said, did you see a man that was fit this description? I said, yeah, he just walked out of here. And the guys freaked out and said, that's Valdez Jr. and went running off. Uh, but all the... All the all the shit bags were around last night when you left. Man, it was your fault, Gemma. Your fault. It's <laughs> always my fault, honestly. I'm Murphy's yep. bitch. I try to explain I mean, this to you. They're gonna catch him soon enough. Yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully before he hurts somebody else, because he's been gunning people down left and right. I mean... 
how could he escape his own execution? I, all I heard was it had something to do with Percy. I don't know what the fuck that means, but it's a good question. I'm... My holes? <laughs> no, 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 the assistant justice. Assistant oh, justice. Yeah. Okay. Percival. Percival something or other. Because mm. I see him a lot in. Uh, oh, I gotta eat. Uh, Lemoyne. In that small cabin. Ellis Jr. Oh. Huh. What, the little cabin by Braithwaite? Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, uh, like the one in the swamps. You can enter oh, the. Oh, uh... okay. Yeah, there's a couple of those. Yeah, because. He robbed me and he took me there and then he fucking showed me everything and then he just left me there. Was so. it the one by the farm field where you can um, farm swamper or was it not yeah. near the farmland? It's The one right the by the farmland? Land. Yeah, you can see it like right off to the right of it. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I know which one I'm talking about. That one's like surrounded by gators too. Ooh. I just heard a wolf howl. I mean, he should be easy to catch. I don't know why nobody can catch him. Like, I'm not a, a bounty hunter or anything like that, but if I was, I would go after him. I'm just gonna go find me a bush real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, from what I understand about Valdez Jr. is he only plays when the marshals are not around. Like, he makes a point to do that. And that's... That's not even fun. No, nah, it's pretty shitty, really. Oh, I mean, which would you rather have? That he's around when there's no... Marshals or more or more when there are. Well, I'd like them around when they are so that they can catch them and actually take care of them. I mean, from what he told me when he robbed me, uh, he formed a gang because the law was corrupt or something like that. Yeah, I and think that's what he had put on the pin board or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I saw that he's. I don't know. He's like the Robin Hood of the outlaws. I mean, hmm. that's what he's saying. But that's probably bullshit. Well, and I guess people, if maybe they think that they're less likely to. You know, tell anybody about where he is and stuff like that. <sighs> oh, now I gotta use a bush too. So I'm behind the cabin, I'll be right back. No. Why are you looking for the Washingtons anyways? Not looking for the Washingtons, looking for Bones. Mr. Bones. Mm -hmm. So what did, what did he do? Uh-oh. What happened to Gemma? She just had to go find a bush, too. Okay. All right. I'm sorry about that. I really needed that bush. <laughs> uh, Bones hasn't done anything in particular. Just 
just was told that he had some answers to a particular situation. All right. No, I just need to talk to him. Apparently, he's got some uh, information for me that's pretty important. I see. But it's been real hard to find him, so I, I don't know. He's uh, elusive, that man. There's apparently a lot of people looking for the same answer, so he might be in, uh, you know, laying low or who knows. What's that, Andy? What? Uh... A lot of people are looking for answers from him, I guess. So he might yeah, be just like, laying low. Yeah. yeah, probably, probably. I think a lot of people are looking for him for another kind of answer also, which is part of the reason he's so hard to find, you know? Yeah. Is it something big? Sounds big. I mean... Well, you want to tell him about it? Like you don't have to. Ah, uh, not sure he'd believe us. Probably not, but... Go ahead. Uh, there's just been some... Supernatural activity, shall we say, inside of Valentine and the surrounding areas. There's been a cult. And things like that. Uh, it's hard to believe until you've actually experienced it, but... I mean, <laughs> could you define supernatural? Um, uh, do you, just well, explain, let's, really. let's just start from the beginning, okay? So the whole thing started here, right? I was in the, uh, I was in Valentine. And uh, this gentleman went into the saloon, came mm -hmm. walking in. It was the middle of the night. He looked scared. He was shaken. Charlie met up with him inside Smithfields, and they was talking to him, and he was crouched in the corner crying. When I asked Marley what happened, she told me that something up in the cave at Mount Shan had killed his wife and his daughter. So we, like, saddled up a bunch of us and went up there thinking we was looking for an animal. So we got up there, and... Uh, we heard a big growl coming from inside the cave and we thought we had our answer. We thought a grizzly done made its home inside and got a hold of his wife and his daughter. So we was geared up, pulled out our guns, walked inside, we was gonna take care of the problem. Yeah. The further we got inside, the louder the growls got until we realized it weren't no fucking grizzly. We didn't know what it was. And then pretty soon inside the cave, all of the lamps that were posted on the wall were being broke out one by one by something we couldn't see. And one of the fellers we was with just started sliding across the ground and got yanked right down into a hole in the in, in the cave. And we didn't see him again for the rest of the night until we found him wandering around Valentine with his clothes all tore up. After that, we decided that we didn't know what we were dealing with, so we all tried to run out of the cave. And as we tried to run out, Several of us were picked up and thrown against the wall. Wayo was dragged across a bridge, the wooden bridge that was inside the cave, and a bunch of us just, we, did, we never saw what it was that was attacking us. We just were getting pulled off of our horses left and right, and we scrambled the fuck out of there, figuring it was some sort of native spirit or something that was pissed off. We didn't really know what the fuck it was, so... We decided we was going to get out of there until we could come back with some people that might be able to enlighten to us as to what might be causing the problem. And so we were looking for Nikoi. He's like a, a shaman. Uh, yeah. So um, we waited, went back with Nikoi. And when we went back up with Nikoi, there was already a deacon and some other fellers up there, some of the Washingtons. And it was kind of a repeat of the same thing again. Yeah. Uh, Nikoi went inside the cave to try to assess what it was we were dealing with. If it was like a, there were rumors it was a Wendigo. And there were rumors it was a demon. Nobody really knew, but, uh, you know, Nikoi felt like in, in, if he was going to do any kind of ceremony, he needed to know what it was he was, he was dealing with. Uh, in the long run, uh, he ended up getting thrown down by whatever the thing was and 
more people getting drug around and we just sort of exited the situation thinking that the thing was like reserved to the cave eventually after a couple days shit started happening in valentine in the saloon chairs were flying everywhere lamps were being put out because apparently the thing can only make an appearance at night so the information i've gotten at this point leads us to believe that mr bones knows something about how to get rid of whatever it is so that's why we're looking for him so there you have it you can believe it or not i ain't a religious woman i don't believe in that shit for the most part but I mean, I don't know what you say, you know, when you're sitting there witnessing chairs flying around and lamps going out without any explanation, I guess, you know, you kind of got on some level admit that something weird's going on. And apparently there's some gentleman worshipping it. I'm just trying to process this. Uh, it is a little hard to believe. There's a cave up, cave? At Mount, up at Mount Shan. It was a native, uh, it's used a lot for, I don't know, some sort of native rituals. It has a rickety wooden bridge on the inside. I don't know if you ever explored the caves around here before, but it's like, I think it's one of only two caves up there, or maybe it is the only one. I, I can't remember. But uh, it's right, ab right above Strawberry. It ain't that far from Strawberry. Yeah, I think I know which one you mean. Mount Shan, I think it's called, right? Yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah, pretty strange. Believe me, we know how fucking crazy it sounds. Trust me. I mean... What the fuck? Yeah. Well... There's not a lot that people like you and me can do about it, really. So we're relying on Nikoi and whoever else has any knowledge about any of these things. And if Bones has answers to that, then well, we're trying to find him. Have you spoken to the, uh, the natives? Yeah. About this? What did they say about it? I don't know, maybe what did Nikoi say about it? That it was most likely something that was conjured here, or brought here by someone else. And that it was probably some sort of spirit, and it needed to be banished, and he was going to put together some supplies, get together a group, and eventually, I guess, try to banish it. But, yeah, we don't know when that's going to happen. So. In the meantime, like I said, I got some information that, that Bones is some sort of key to the whole thing. And if we talk to him, uh, he might give us some answers. Oh, I mean, he's a strange man, so... Uh, I mean, I guess go find him. That's what we're trying to do. It's pretty elusive at the moment. I don't think it's a Wendigo. No, no it, it, I don't think not. so either because it doesn't have like a form. That's kind of weird. And you didn't see anything? No. Not a th no. nothing. No. Just felt and heard and. Several yeah. times we've had encounters. It comes out only at night. Or in the dark. Or in the dark, yeah. Knock me off my feet a couple times. That's about it. Andy and I was out just riding on a horse together and just kind of talking to each other, visiting and catching up because I hadn't seen her all week. And we went into a train tunnel and whatever it was, pulled me off the back of the horse, dragged me about what, what would you say, about 50 feet behind you? Oh, it was dark. I couldn't really tell how far you went, but... It was a long ways. And all this happened at night? Mm-hmm. Or in a dark spot, like a tunnel, you know, there, where there was no light. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea.
Well, you're not alone. Neither do we. We're just doing our best to try to make sense of something you can't make sense of, you know? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Bigfoot? <laughs> <laughs> well, then there's the Sam Squatch that lives down in the swamps. The what? Sam oh, you've never Squatch. heard about that? Sam Squatch? No, I have not heard about that. What I have the not. hell is that? Basically, my understanding is it's like a swamp version of Bigfoot. But it lives in the swamps outside of San Denis. Out by where the cannibals camp is or something. I don't know. But uh, I remember farming at Caliga Hall and guys used to come to me all the time to tell me to watch out. Somebody had heard the Sam Squatch marching around in the woods. Never actually saw it, but. No, that's bullshit. I just thought it was a pretty funny name. Sam Squatch. Sam Squatch. Yeah, I have. I can't think of one animal that could do all this. Hmm. No, and I was in Mamie's office the other day. I can't remember what she was outside the office doing, but nighttime came and the doors started opening and closing to the office. The lights started to flicker and the chandelier started swinging around. But there was nobody there. <laughs> we also heard it whisper to us that night. It was like another language, though. I don't know what it was. It didn't. I couldn't make any sense of it. But yeah, it, sounded it sounded like it was speaking, but it wasn't something I could understand. It was almost like multiple voices overlapping each other, so you couldn't make out any of their words. Yeah, that's some native shit right there. That's a, that's a spirit. It has to be. Yeah, I tried to talk to them in the office, you know, to, I don't know. I don't know why, because I thought maybe it, like, was trying to just tell me something, and that's why it kept playing with the doors, but all it did was play with the doors. And then whisper for a little while, and then it just disappeared. But I think at that point, the sun was coming up. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I don't think anybody really does. I think we're all kind of in the same boat, but there are some fellas out there I've heard that want to sacrifice bones to the thing, and I don't think that's... that's I mean, how are you uh, connecting uh, him to all this? Well, I was told by a voice that... I could find the mount the answers I saw on top of a mountain. I think who told us that, Gemma? How did we find out to go up to the mountain that day? I can't remember. Was it Marley who told us to go up there? Yeah, she told us about the formation up there. And then when we that arrived up there answers. there were three men. Yeah, there were three men sitting there in ceremonial mass saying that I was, you know, you know, that, that it was God. And we're like, well, what? It was very confusing. It was our really God confusing. Our God is a false God, but there is no God, but he's our was, master. And it was very odd. But as the sun went down and it got dark, that thing came and it whispered, that Bones had the answers. So I went back up there again at a later date and I got the same response. Bones has the answers. So I've been looking for him ever since. So how long have you been looking for him? Two days now? I was going to say maybe three days. Yeah, maybe three, yeah. He's gonna show up eventually. <sighs> well, what a weird. Huh. 
Yeah, I, I really don't know. I think it's a spirit or something. Well, it has to be. I mean, I have a hard time believing in that sort of thing, but I can't explain it. <laughs> But, you know, we all been through some shit, so I think we're all a little more well receptive to the idea that there are things out there we don't understand. I was waiting to see what word you were going to use for that. Were you? Yeah, because you're like, we all, and I'm like, we all what? We're all what? Receptive is good, though. Pretty well, I'm much... glad I passed your fucking test. <laughs> You're Hard damn ass. lucky, bitch, or I would have just shot you for being dead. You know, what do you think I was going to say? I didn't know. That's why I was very curious. And then when he came out with the receptive, I was like, all right, that's fair. You all right, Andy? Mm-hmm. What are you thinking? Um... Just thinking about everything I've ever heard about spirits and and darkness and you know, why spirits come out at night and things like that. I mean, it's obviously connected to the uh, the Indians. That's what I think. I guess it I mean, doesn't matter it? what you call it. I mean, I don't think spirits necessarily have a... a cultural, you know, tie. I mean, what we call a demon could be a spirit to a native, it just... You know, I don't think there's... a separation like that. Yeah, I guess you're right. We also have our own <clears throat> little sense of urgency uh, where it's concerned, you know, but, you know, I don't know. We have a lot of things we're looking for, but the key is, is, you know, I talked to Marley. I think Marley knows where Bones is, but she's scared to tell us because, well, apparently there's people that have been thinking they're going to sacrifice Bones to it, to him, you know, by putting him, you know, in there and cutting him up or something like that, and that ain't yeah. what I want to do at all. Because apparently, whatever it is, he he has the information. It's not he himself that is the information. You know. Well, you gotta find him before somebody else does. Yeah, tell me about him before he ends up a human sacrifice. Yeah. I might have to be leaving you here soon. Oh no, where you gotta go? Yeah, to sleep. Alright, well do you want to head back to Valentine? Yeah, probably. Alright. I'll just leave back here. Yeah. <laughs> just leave him here. I mean, we could rope him up and take him if you want to, but I think you'll be alright. Would be sure. funny. All right. It was nice to meet you, sir. I'm gonna grab yeah, a nice to meet you too. grab my horse out of the stable, my own horse. Or should I just ride with you? Or yeah, it's up to you. Yeah. I'll, oh, you got your fur there. I'll get my horse. That's nice to you, Jason. Or Gemma. Yeah. Can I just hop on the back of your horse? She's got a pretty pelt, pelt on there. Ride with Andy? No, that's all right. Just one of you girls give me a ride. I'll be good. I kind of like this place. It's quiet. It's kind of cozy, it's isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. very quaint. Where are we headed back? Valentine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You sure about leaving Bach, right? We're good there. He'll be fine. He's been away for a while. I don't... I don't know if he's coming back or not. And there's a stable there if he needs it, so... Oh, 
well, maybe he'll get kidnapped and we'll never see him again. Who knows? I don't, yeah, really. That guy's just waiting for us to leave him there. No, he seems all right. Why you gotta go say things like that? Just to make you nervous. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course you do. It's too easy. <laughs> what do you mean it's too easy? Andy, Andy knows. <laughs> you know what? You motherfuckers get yourselves into some shit and you expect me not to be worried about your dumb asses. I don't know. I don't get myself yeah, into like, anything. I don't know what you're talking ourselves about. ourselves all the time. It's like a self-fulfilling thing. I know, I'm just being a smart ass. These tracks. I got myself in more trouble uh, than you ever could think about getting into. <laughs> a locals, right? Yeah, you don't get yourself in enough trouble now. You start getting me in trouble too. Okay, I'm trying to keep my nose clean here. Uh huh. That was not my fault. That one was not I'm my fault. Kidding. I'm just busting your ass. <laughs> and I can because I'm not dead. Thank fuck. Gemma, I'm not kidding. The dark thoughts going through my head. I was looking around, literally counting the room, how many people I was going to have to take how out. Many you, yeah, how many you oh, could get to put you out? Yeah. I've done that before. No, I was trying to figure out how I was going to get people down, get you the fuck out of there so we could go on the run, is what I was thinking about. I didn't plan on dying there. But, you know, that's optimistic of me as usual. I always overestimate and uh, my own abilities. Which is how I usually yeah, end up in shit half the time. Yeah, there was a lot of fucking marshals there. I just thought, why the hell does someone as little as me who can't shoot the side of a barn get so much fucking attention? They like your hair. Yeah, apparently uh, that was the, you've that gotta... was the subject. You gotta inform it. Strawberry. Hmm. Really? That's interesting. How close are we to strawberry? Um... Oh. We are a ways away. Right. Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> Where are you going? You all right? This is your horse, right? What is going on? Is what is going on, Gemma? All right, all right. Just hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna stop? No, he's not stopping. Something else. He, he keeps what running the, by himself. What the fuck is going on? All right, all right, all right. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Or you can. Maybe you can ride, and I can't. All right. Let me see. I think I'm in that like weird thing where you run all the time. Hop on. Like all I can do is run. Hop on the horse. All right. Hang on. That's weird. I don't want to take a nap because, you know, I'll never Yeah, no, I got you. All right. You all right, Andy? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. I kept thinking about emotions, you know what I mean? And and I kept closing off the thought, but then my horse just... I've ever seen you panic that much. <laughs>
disaster. Remember when Percy freaked out, Andy? Yeah. It, was, it actually was. Yeah. Uh, that. So, yeah, it's not... That's why Percy's... Uh, like I was saying, he's the best horse, because he's... It's Percy never misbehaves. Uh, and yeah, and I, and I know it was like... we're just a good team, I feel like, because he's, he's calm and he's, you know, loyal. And I, and I know when he's acting strangely that there's actually something wrong. Yep. Oh! I guess that's just time also. That just... is a big L. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's why I love Percy. For a second I thought it was a polar bear. Oh my god. I don't polar think they have bear. those. No polar bears. It's not cold enough for them. Uh, oh. oh, sorry. That's that's one of the ones we left behind. Oh, okay. Yeah, that dropped from the sky. Oh, look at that view. Well. Wow, you can see forever. Mm -hmm. Who's this? Oh, hello. How do you do? Howdy, howdy. Hey, good evening. Oh, hey, hey Holt. That's Holt. Yeah, that's right. Hey. Oh, hey, Kyle. What you guys up to? Heading up. You heading up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a fella named Jason up there waiting for a friend. Who the fuck is huh? Jason? I don't know. Jason. Don't know. Said he was no, I don't remember what his last name was. In in our village? Yeah. Uh -huh. He's a nice hey, fella. You know what to do. All this getting on. Come on. Hey, oh. um, Kyle. Buck is sleeping up there. Shit. Excuse me. Buck, Doctor Buck, Buck is is, is napping up there, and, in and his we head. left him there because he's been sleeping for a long time, in and his there was head. no place to bring him back. So if you see him standing there, don't freak out. Oh no, he's fine. But the other fellas, you don't know, right? No, I just was... know his name is. Jason. I mean, we sat there and talked to him for a while. He seemed fine. Right. He wasn't like aggressive or anything. Yeah, yeah. I'll ask him if it's his place. If he says yes, he's dying. Let's go. Okay. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, he, it's not his place. Kyle. <laughs> he fuck? he said it wasn't his place, so uh, that guy uh, uh, needs medication or something. <laughs> it is, it is. Lord, oh, that's interesting. We're having quite a day today. <laughs> yeah. It's good to have you with us, Andy. Yeah, it's nice to be here. While I can. Yeah. yeah. When is the, when is the next when is the next time you're gonna be able to grace us with your presence? Um, probably tomorrow morning, like normal. What was that? When is the next time you're gonna be able to grace us with your presence? Probably tomorrow morning, like normal. Okay. All right, smartass. <laughs> I heard the, I heard the sarcasm well. in your tone. <laughs> I heard the, I, you know what I heard when you said it like that? I what? Heard, what? Mamie, I already fucking told you this a thousand times. <laughs> no, it's just you know when I come around. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't know. Oh, and my and mean. my morning times are pretty much the same at this point. Okay. Okay. So I can still be there in the morning for a little bit. All right. As long as I don't have something that I need to prepare that day. Like my dinner. In the morning? Oh my, <laughs> my breakfast. <laughs> <sighs> what yes. do you mean, oh my god, Gemma? Do you want me to kick you? Well, you'd be surprised. Yeah, that's true. Why don't you jump on over to Andy's horse? There's a pelt in play. Yeah, all right. I got a citizen coming in. I see that, all right. Hey, buddy, come here. Yeah, strawberry again. Really? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Alright, let me just check real quick. Let's see. Do we want to go down there? Right in town by the uh, sheriff's probably station. Sh we probably should. Alright. Oh no, it's up to you. Uh, you're the doc. I'm just... I, I, I mean, should, we can I, go, yeah, if you guys want to go. I'm go. just a little... It's boring, and I don't know. It just feels a bit strange. Just go down real Do quick. have a doctor? I don't know what they have and don't have. Yeah, well, let's go take a run by. We'll make it courtesy. Make sure that everybody was okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, sorry. He's fast. That you like, cool. yeah, you like shave that one. <laughs> I was too. How often do I oof? Not often. Usually you, when you oof, it's because you're on the back of my horse or something, and I've caused the problem. I don't think it... Cause all the problems, don't you? I, I, I do. I do. <laughs> Uh oh. What the hell? What the hell is that? Why did he fall off the horse? He's a local. No idea. <laughs> that was odd. We had. Hey. <laughs> Oh, the train is stuck. That that's not uh -uh. good. Uh. That could have something to do with it. Huh. Or has he just stopped at the station? Maybe it's a long one. Maybe it just stopped. No, it's not. I thought maybe it was. Yeah. Is the sun coming up or going down? Down. Fuck. All right. Well, shit. Check the welcome center. We'll make sure, see if Boris is around. Oh, there's somebody's horse. Uh, is what's going on out here? Did somebody get knocked out up here? Bullshit! Please? That's what's going on. Out it's just dizzy. Everything okay? I gave her a really hard hug because um, she can see a weird box with text in her eyes and she thought that that might sort it. I was twice? changing my clothing. That wasn't twice, no. Okay. It, it was I, was, I was changing my clothes and then all of a sudden I couldn't interact with it anymore. I can't even wake up right now. I can't move. I can't change how loud I am. I can't do nothing. And Hold on. I've been trying to do everything to avoid taking a nap. There you go. Look at you. Right, let's see if this does it. Nice. We were going exploring. It's still there. 
Yeah, and she's bouncing. I can't think about saving. Uh. Mm. Ah. Careful, she's pregnant. Yeah, I I I, I did it gently I'm... in the in the in the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> Flowers are fine. Plus, there's like pee here, and and it's mm -hmm. not like hard ground. This is the only way I can move. So he's, I assume he's cut you, or uh, not cut you, but roped you up and cut you free already. Yeah. Yep, I couldn't break out of the rope at all. Are you pretty much out of time? Yeah. Well, probably stay okay for the night. All right. Alrighty. Here, but I'll be over here tomorrow. Bye, Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh, right. Ow! Oh, right in the steps. Ow! <laughs> oh. uh, that was the steps way up. It's fine. You're a strong, independent woman. Yeah. Right. Um. Do you want to <laughs> wake up and? Yeah, the other in D2. I don't want to. I know we don't want to, but... Heard what about who? That Mamie was... A, or uh, Andy was a strong, independent woman. <laughs> I am. Yeah, she is. I'd heard that about her. <laughs> yeah. I gotta check telegrams since we're here real quick. I probably should check mine eventually, too, but fuck it. All right, well. Do you want to sing a song before I leave? I would love it. I would love it. Wait. It would be great. Miss our piano, though, huh? Yeah. It's all right. I got my guitar. It's kind of weird not being here, isn't it? Yeah. Things change. What's that? We'll always have memories, but it's all right if things change, right? Yeah, I suppose. She has to uh, take a nap and wake back up, and if there's oh, a big shit. train, then we're gonna go to. D2. Yeah, there's a big train. Yeah, then we're gonna go to D2, probably. I was just gonna sing Mamie a song you before I had to go to sleep. Sweetheart, you are in D2. D1. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> so apparently, someone on the pin board um, named Jamie Grand is very happy that we have a lot of money in the Valentine Bank and wanted you specifically, Mamie, to know that he was very grateful for that. You mean the idiot earlier on that came up to me? Oops. Came up to, you mean the idiot say, earlier say, on? What? I don't understand. What does that even mean? Okay, no, no, no. so it's just somebody, I went it's, and looked it, at the pin board. It's a guy huh. being an idiot. Essentially, I think he's basically declaring that he's going to probably try and rob the bank. He came up to us at the sheriff's office oh, and said he's come to collect our taxes. And uh, and I was just mm -hmm. like, um, how about you fuck off politely? And he was just like, that's no way to talk to a citizen. And I was just like, you sound... And uh, the my new deputy, John, was just like, well, you sound intoxicated, sir. Maybe you should, you know, go sit down. He was like, I will, and I will leave this porch when you've given your taxes. And I said, okay, I said, uh, I basically told him to, to leave, and he wouldn't leave. I said, you've got two options. I throw you in the cell until you decide that this isn't funny anymore and you want to come out, or um, I forcefully remove you from the porch. And then he ended up getting what he wanted and removed the porch. Honestly, yeah. it's probably just these it. guys. It's probably just bullshit from you know these these guys are going to be giving giving us grief. It's fine. It's fine. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. All right, Woody. Yeah, hey, you're back. Hey, everybody, sit down. Let's get a song in before she has to go. <laughs> All right. Oh. Um, which one would you like? You pick. Okay. I'm just going to spit in that bucket over there. Don't mind me. I don't know why sitting gives you so much extra saliva. Oh, yeah, right.
or you somehow lose your ability to swallow it. I don't know. Oh, Mrs. Wallace says she's been cured again. Says this new elixir is the real McCoy. Well, why don't you guys... <laughs> Thank you, darling, as usual. Of course. It's always a great way to end the night. Yeah, well, that's my closing act. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> Get some sleep, and I'll uh, catch you later, I hope. It was yeah. good to see you today. Yeah. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, darling. Good night, Andy. Hmm. Well, I guess I better... Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I'm gonna go check at this. Look at this pin board shit. See what the fuck's going on I can there. Read it to you if you yeah, want. Yeah, would you? Yeah, sure. If you don't mind, yeah. Yeah. Don't let it get to you, Mamie. <laughs> what? Don't let it get to you too hard. Yeah, that. All right. So it says, I gotta say, Miss Mayor, your bank's wealth was really, has really treated me good. There's just something about money that isn't mine that I can use. It's like when you steal a little food off someone's plate, you know? 
maybe I'll be back for more after there's, after all, there's a lot of money in Valentine just waiting for someone to grab it. I'm excited to meet you in the future, ma'am. Maybe on good terms, maybe on bad. Whatever the case, I look forward to it. Your friend, Jamie Grand. Pretty sure, like I said, that was the guy that was pretending to be a tax collector. Yeah, whatever, huh? Friendly enough. I'll just hit him over the back of the head with a gun and put him somewhere to calm down. Yeah, well, I'd be happy to meet him behind a closed door. I was going to say, oh, with the lights out. Hi, you Sarah. loaded your sawed hey. off right before you said that. Yeah. <laughs> Mamie. Yeah. Washington gave me your message. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Good night. What? Did you went out hunting with tomorrow. your friends? He told yeah. me about it. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. yeah. Why didn't you come out there? Because he never said a location, because you never gave a location to him. I, she thought you knew where we I were going. I thought you knew nope. where we were going, because we Someday. had talked before. I'm sure. Nope. Well, fuck's sakes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus fine. Christ. Well, it wasn't much of a hunting her. trip anyway, to, to be honest. Yeah, I expect kinda. as much. Killed literally one elk. Yeah. We uh, these women were real annoying. I just sailed down the river when you guys left me ages ago. I don't understand why you jumped in there without planning and like letting us know what your plan was there first. Buddy. There was a horse. The a horse that was from the carriage was there, so I jumped so on the you horse jumped and, in I the river. Back, and I rode back to Valentine because I thought you were taking Buck back to Valentine. But then you didn't go back to Valentine. I was just like, 